Yeah, it looks like I'll we're show, good. All right, it's I'll time then. To, I'll show you how to speed run a startup sometime. No, you're going to have to teach me the ways. Uh, it looks like the settings are all good. It's Bilbo Baggins versus Smaug. How do you properly say that? I've heard so many different pronunciations. Uh, ch -ch -ch un you want to uncheck mark magic victory? Yes. So we're playing some special parameters today where there's no magic victory and there's also going to be no uh, spell jammers. So it's going to be different than usual because most multiplayer games in my experience, um, some of them have come down. Like when Pwn took down Saruman, it was a, it was a siege of the city. But a fair amount of them do come down to spell victories and turtling, so we're going to turn that off just to uh, try something different, you know, see what it's like. So magic victory turned off and expansion, allied victory looks good. And I think we are good, man, if you are. How you feeling? You ready? I feel great. Let's, let's, let's jam it, dude. Starting the game. How do you, how do you feel? Feeling good, good man. Friend. Feeling good. I'm ready. So I'm futile. You're, you're looking good. I, yeah, thank you, man. I think I appreciate that. I'm feudal with um, Adept Settlers, and uh, the other one is, I think, Wonder Architects. You know, to kind of represent the journey to, uh, you know, some of these epic sites in the realm. Going to be starting off with the Tome of Faith here. Oh, no, we're Devotees of Good. Yeah, that's right. So Devotees of Good is nice if you're just making a bunch of cities, because it gives you stability and Imperium. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Let's see who... Uh, we'll be uh, training his little gabos. Smog's hoarders. Oh man, look at that! Yeah, Sapone's gonna be Materium, right? That's uh, no, no, I'm I'm barbarian. You ended up going barbarian. Okay, sounds good. Oh, man, all these kind of suck. Although chaplains are reasonably good, but yeah, I almost want to shuffle the first one. See if I can get some better research here. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like it fits more into the Lord of the Rings theme with the goblins. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so got you. Let's do our city first. Usually I like to start with a workshop and then just start with a farm right out of the gates. Looks like this one is being guarded, but let's slap a farm down right there. I might, hopefully we don't have to auto too much. It could be the case with um, with my haggard spearman. No, looks like Bilbo and company. Ooh, wow, I just got a nice tier three unit. Turn, what? Turn one, baby. It's the Autumn Fairy, though. It's not like it's like a super powerful fight. GG! Yeah. Oh, those things hit hard. Yeah, you got to just give up right now, dude. Just just scoop on out of this one. I'm done. <laughs> you just quit. I, I, I refuse to play more. The stream is just shut down right now. Yeah, Bilbo versus Smog, yeah. Just rage quit. So all the stream will build up to a massive confrontation, then it'll end or next stream. Yeah, no, we're going to string you along for three movies instead of the <laughs> instead of just the, the book here. Uh, Smog dies right at the start of two. Yeah, so yeah. Right, yeah. Spawn's got a little bit of time, not too much, but he's got he's got a little something something to work with here. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed build you. Do some exploration. Pwn's playing a dragon. I'm playing like kind of vanilla you know. You can see here's Bilbo, by the way. Here's what he looks like. He's got his walking staff. So what what by the way, what is Bilbo? Is he the is he a mighty He's uh, a champion. He is yeah, he said, like, Bilbo is a wizard king would just be silly, you know? Right. <laughs> oh, hey, you got a wand of healing. Nice. Dude, you better watch out. The Shire is growing powerful, dude. I fear it. Bilbo is going to be the lord of knowledge with the feudal system, because so he, he can, uh, he can. Okay, let's go here. Looks like a pretty nice area up there to work with, so we're going to head up that way. Um, attract population. So we got the workshop. Next, we want to get a storehouse. So the clergy commons gives us that storehouse, and we'll get a forester. <clears throat> An evil presence lingers in these lands, Mr. Frodo. Yeah, that's me. I know. Smog is Smog's going to be flying about, looking to cause some havoc here. I don't want this. Unequip. Get my resources a flowing. Uh oh, dude, I'm I'm sweating. Undying loyalty, target friendly unit gains steadfast. It's actually not bad at all. Minus twenty percent upkeep is pretty respectable too. Pwn's making a decision right now. Revenge for oh, Deathwing. Yeah, it is. He's, he's oh good. Our first level up of the day. Are you trembling, dude? Do you know what level the Shire Master is over here? He's level three. Oh shit. I think. Wait, or is he level two? I think he's level three. Okay. 
All right, let's keep exploring here. Haven't found a free city yet. All right, so we can go ahead and give them the Whispering Stone. Wow, there's a lot of a uh, lot of little uh, infestations up here for sure. <laughs> eh? Shire, gonna give it to you. Devotees is good. Yeah, Devotees of Good is great. It's um, it's one of my favorite. So our our plan today is to go. A combination of, of holy nature and a little bit of spice other than that just for some funny flavor but um yeah it should be should be a pretty good build i would say okay so that's finishing the granary is going to take two foresters to take off so we could just slap to try some some giga chad strats here yeah you you getting extra scary or what is there anything i want to do here yeah we can't quite afford that so defeating that would it was 300 relations okay. to all of them. Eh. I'm going. I'm gonna fight this. Yeah, go for it. J j just to save some hell. How dare you, dude? What up? What up? Look at Pwn causing causing all these problems. Yeah, the bandmen seem pretty good still. Um, they have a nice synergy with the um, with the uh, Tome of Warding. So what you do while Pwn's fighting this, I'll show you guys the synergy, which we might utilize. I'm not sure. Anyways, you go to Tome. You go to Astral Affinity. And then you get the Tome of Warding. So you get Stabs of Warding. So basically, all of your support abilities from your Bannermen, from your Skjalds, they give you a fair amount of resistances, which is quite nice. They give you uh, yeah, bolstered resistance. So it's very, very good. So we might try that. Yeah, this is an interesting map. It's just a small one-on-one -on -one map. I mean, not super small. There's like It looks like there's a huge middle area between us right here. And then uh, down to the bottom right is probably where Pwn is. He's probably down here somewhere. So... Yeah, we'll figure it out. But here's our Hobbit, by the way. If you guys are just joining, can we click on him? No, doesn't look like we can. Let's see if we can do it here. There we go. The <laughs> ruler of the Shire. Yes, Bilbo Baggins. The mighty overseer of the Shire. Um, our tome plan, yeah. We'll probably go Faith is our starting tome. It's pretty nice for the, um, the healing, and it provides several other nice benefits. Did you finish the fight already? I did, I did. Okay. Ah, I think I see one of your cities down here. Look at this. Boah. This is, uh, yeah, it looks like you don't have any relations with them quite yet, so that's okay. All right, so let's take you down. Some pretty easy camps on this map, I'm not going to lie. Okay, Robe of Resistance. It's pretty nice for old old Bilbo here. It's his mithril. Uh, well, I guess that's well, wouldn't be Bilbo per se, but. All right, so let's head up here. Can do a little bit of this. Can annex a province and we can get a granary so we're going to need two foresters for that uh, the dreaded quarry has become mine has it cool so we have should have pretty mean food here in this region now all right so yeah this is a, a pretty solid area up here to work with bilbo will head up there and deal with it um i'm looking good Hey, Wookie, I'm glad to hear you guys had fun with the uh, Age of Empires tournament. Yeah, that's great. That is great, my friend. Um, do we want the mana node yet? Our mana income is really bad, so we could just slap this down and get that mana node. And that will uh, solve a lot of our, our problems for sure. Okay, so that looks like kind of a, a bit of a scary army to fight. Um, I think slapping down the bronze wall. town center up here is good. Yeah. Man, the location of this place sucks though. This is this is definitely unfortunate. <laughs> See, if I wasn't if I wasn't playing like a good guy faction, my normal strategy would be to just conquer these guys. But I'm literally playing devotees of good. So if I go in and karate chop them, it's gonna be counterintuitive to my entire strategy. So What's Look. up? Yeah, it's been a while since I've streamed. Has it? It's been a while. Every time I thought about doing it. While turn was away, I was just like, "Ugh." You just felt lonely, oh, and yeah. I, I did. I was like, "I, I need my turn. <laughs> I need him." <laughs> what is this guardian? He has abandoned me for vacation <laughs> for his for his wife's anniversary. What do we got here? Army heal. Okay, that is the thumbnail. You know you like it. Come on, man. Let's uh, let's not. I, let's I not. think the thumbnail is great. Yeah, you know he likes it. He's just he's just being he's playing playing hard to get over there. It's been facetious. So nature wholly out of the gates. Are you you're fighting a battle? Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost. Done. No worries, no worries. I just want to make sure you were, and it wasn't like a disconnect or something. <laughs> Abandon. 
There's a lot to clear up here, guys. Look at this, like, corner. Also, underground is, is full size on this map, so. Halflings might go underground. Yeah, Pwn's streaming as well. If you guys want to see his perspective, he's playing a dragon. I'm playing the Shire, so I just have Bilbo Baggins here. Um, but yeah, he's he's streaming his perspective as well. I am playing Schmaug. Yeah, he's playing Schmaug, the, the destroyer there. The Magnificent. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... What does this one do? This one has some properties here. Ooh, this is a good one. When annex, it gives you knowledge and mana and also gives you world casting points. It's really good. Definitely gonna have to get our clutches on that. First and foremost, we're gonna go clear all this out and then build the city up here. So pretty easy route, to be honest. And then we just loop back down. Um, yeah, we got some stuff over that direction. Using wy wyverns in the battle? Dude, the dragons are really good. I, I made a dragon tamer champion, so he's like a hu human. That is like focused on leveling up dragons, and it's really strong. It's really strong because champions give more experience to your units. Yeah. That he he whooped me in that one. Yeah, yeah. You kind of got caught in a bit of a haggard battle though, too. I mean, it was agreed upon. It wasn't like some filthy ambush, but you yeah, even still the my army. I think the timing. Of, the timing of the fight wasn't like great for you. All right. I didn't think it would go as bad as it did. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I I had I had more I had like. Five or six more units than you, but they were like all level one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was bleak. Turn just came in with like three Giga Chad units and gave me the biz. Declares war on them. Uh, oh, yeah, so it's one of those local events. Ay, ay, ay. So this is a battle I might have to fight. The Shire might have to get in there. No worries, no worries. I'm not sure. I'm just looking at it, it's one of those. Is there any way to tell what the punishment is for that terrain? Oh, it's smog! Dude, look at the stare down between these two mighty overlords. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I like your Bilbo. Yeah, he's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's about as close as you're going to get. All right, let's see how this goes. Come on, don't lose anything. All right, sweet. Dude, Bilbo's just been karate chopping these auto resolves. <laughs> he's like, Bilbo going to give it to you, dude. <laughs> the dreadlord of it all okay so bilbo summoning undead certainly seems a little bit out of character <laughs> huh yeah yeah it does i don't, I don't know or perhaps you... bilbo was finally conquered but <laughs> bilbo's Goblin. gonna no you know there's a little bit like bilbo summoning the barrow whites you know uh well actually you haven't read you probably haven't read the Wait, books there, there are goblins in in middle earth definitely are goblins um well army leader all non-hero units gain experience per turn just down, pick. down to Goblin Town. Yeah, that's the best. That that song from the '70s movie was so good. And if you haven't played Battle for Middle Earth Two with Gorkil the Goblin King and Drogoth the Dragon Lord, get out of here, dude! Look at your ratty scout here, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it just coming to my, to attack here or what? My my Goblin, whatever you click on, they're like. <laughs> I love it, dude. All right, all right, so are you dying over there? Or... No, I'm just papping. Things go. It's, Things this is actually terrible. legit been one of the smoothest starts I think I've had. It's just, uh, it's just all butter here, dude. <laughs> oh my god, look at the haggard rating. <laughs> I don't know if I can like get you, but burn the Shire. Shire. <laughs> we got you, dude. I summoned a peasant spear, but it, it did cost me money, which, oh. which sucks, you know. Oh. That was so troll. If I didn't have a, anything nearby, that would have been the most annoying <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> Just the filthy pwn. Oh my god, you're such a villain, dude. Okay. Let's set up an outpost here. Yes. It's fine. We don't care I what they say. I his hand. <laughs> The city, the city location really sucks, but it's like the other areas are just not great. There's so many good resources up here. Uh huh. Let's go into the mountains. Pone trying to pillage my lands. Classic stuff. Just doing what any good gabo would do. It's true. Let's do some singing narration in the minstrel, <laughs> like the minstrel in the '70s cartoon. <laughs> We should have done, Gollum versus uh, the Hobbits would have been a good one too, I feel. Yeah, and I don't care about that city down there. All right, so let's go ahead and do the shuffle. Staffs of Mending. 
Let's go knock this one down. Hell yeah. Oh, what do we get? Dude, I just got a wolf mount. Oh. It's better not uh, have a different result. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. So the defenders just leveled up. The little halflings, so now they're tier 2 units. So we can just keep kind of stomping about. Where where are you, by the way? Did you just like beeline it across the map to try and find me or what? No. no? I, I, we're, we're not that far away from each other. Yeah, yeah. It's a small, it's a kind of a small map, so. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Ugh. Gollum would be like a dark culture. You would probably play Gollum like somewhat similar to how you would play like Mordor, you know? I don't know. Like, because who would Gollum lead? He's not really like a leader, so. You always fail those unless it's 100%. I actually feel like I got a pretty good success rate. I mean, I do fail every once in a while, but overall, I'm quite pleased. What are you, what are you failing at? Uh, I didn't fail, but like, you know, those decisions when it like, yes, like your culture. Yes. Rating. Yeah, no, I got you. Oh, we're so close to this. You know, he's got a lot of range, to, so we're just gonna, just gonna, oh, I, I messed that up, but you know. Life's life's hard sometimes. Yeah, it's going on. <laughs> that was a bit of a whoopsie daisy by me. You lose some units? Nothing serious? No. 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 Nothing too heavy duty. Mister Superman, no home. <laughs> I know he's not. We'll fight a fight for you guys soon. I'm sure you wanna. If I end up losing a unit, I could fight these marauders here. What is it? A bunch of magma spirits? Okay. Can blast hey right. potato no worries man thanks for joining mana stash mana node underground could go to the underground also wouldn't be a bad idea kind of exploring these mountains here we're devotees of good so we need to stay good so declaring war is usually not our forte although since it's just a 1v1 pone and i will start at war there's not going to be like yes yeah. yeah. well we put it on teams so yeah. we're just at war yeah. we're not on the same team. I don't know if I did. I think I just left it as is. You did. Did I? Did. That's, why, that, yeah. That's why I could just go burn your... Yeah, no, I I, I saw that. You were able to come in and, and have some fun. Uh, let's oh, look at this. Speed that look along. Look at this thing. Well done here. Plus one Fangiri's defense. Dude, are you ready for uh, the halfling peasants to come raid your lands or what? Daylight spear. I don't... I was giving a mole man. <laughs> Mo man, and are you turn gets like tier three giga chads? Yeah, I, it's just got an autumn fairy, which is kind of like a little flavorful, sort of. I guess you know, a little little shire esque nightmare would probably kill your archer. Yeah, it might, it might. I'll fight it if need be. I got two defenders now. These guys are pretty solid units. They got the old heavy shields and whatnot. Up on turn seven, town halls. Not coming. sure if you guys realize quite what I'm. Like, do you guys realize what I'm doing here? Are you attacking me already, dude? Dreamer luck. <laughs> no, no. Nah. I'm going to stream snipe you no, and make sure. No, no. Oh, impossible, it says. <laughs> what an interesting Dylan. That's pretty funny, dude. I yeah. actually think I could still win that. You got a, you got a hard fight on your hands? It says I. It says it's impossible, but... I'd be careful. You know, there might be some weird variable you're not taking into, uh, into account here. Here's Pwn, uh, Here's Pwn, by the way. It. Look at that. Artifact Hoarders, which is good. Very smog friendly. And what is the other one you have? Ruthless Raiders? Yeah. Two more items. And I, you know, Raided Airbore. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right in the flavor, man. I would say it's good. Does Age of Wonders have a DLC? It just got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to rename the capital. Thank you. Uh, let me do this 61 i mean i feel <laughs> i think i could do that could be the shire bag end is fine too though yeah I, I just don't think it's taking into account my magic which is why i'm quite confident i went you playing a danger well is it on hey uh before you do it is it on like unique resource no yeah because they... uh or wait yeah it is it yeah is. you're right that, you're right. <laughs> what would this have done? There's some well, I, can, I can just click on this and just see what the thing is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it just says some areas are on fire. <laughs> yeah, don't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no that, that's okay. It's not like one that guarantees damage against me. 
Yeah, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It could be some. It could be some witchcraft here. They're not immune to fire. No, 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 no. Nope. They they have resistance, but uh, they're not immune. Here's Smog here, just taking his sweet time over there. Look at him. Look at look at Bilbo looking at him all judgingly. Really hyped for the next I'll, DLC. I'll, Me I'll too. Play it, I'll play it slightly safe. You get to wait till next turn. All right. We made it. Bag end can uh, annex a province. Can oh, do I have enough for this yet? Actually, hmm. We will next turn. So let's wait on that, and then we can just start squashing all of these. Oh wow, that was actually a hard fight, but it's okay. And uh, let's head this way. We can use army heal. Cheeky, this one in here. Cheeky. Do you having fun there? Mm-hmm. So we don't want to cut that off, that t that territory. So let's just go ahead and throw a quarry down here. A little bit of building efficiency, throw a library, and it looks like public order is all good. Any of our unique buildings? I don't think so. And convent is for each. Yeah, it'd only be five and five at the moment, so I think we're okay. Get a little bit of knowledge rolling. While we keep uh, our, our hunt for the, for the great dragon. So that's Bilbo and his dwarfs. You should. Uh, you could. You should. Could have been the dwarfs and then had Bilbo. Leave. Yeah, that that would the uh, that would have been pretty good. This is this is going to be like the scouring of the Shire. Hmm. Strength and mending. Feudal ruler. Defensive training is pretty darn good. Strength training is great though too. Ten percent damage. Bag and oh yeah, I guess I should rename. Dude, look Erebor. at you. Look at I you slacking over there, dude. Somebody spell Erebor. All right, so we go for the uh, founding cities is quicker and extra population. Is that right? Air, e A. Is it E A R? I ah, just Google that real quick. Air. I think it's E R E. Yeah, one sec here. I'm gonna fight this. All right, yeah. I'll Google it. Oh, we have no quarrel with you. Yes, give me that sweet good alignment. All right, that's what I'm talking about. E R E B O R. Urabor. A nightmare. Dude, are you ready for Bilbo Baggins to just be riding at you on a mighty nightmare steed? <laughs> <laughs> he has become the ring wraith. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he, gets, he got stabbed by a Morgul blade and <laughs> went through the full transformation. All right, that looks good. Keep scouting for the pwn. The problem uh, is, you know what really sucks for me is, is raiding people's lands counts as an act of like, evil. I mean, obviously it makes sense, but uh, like I can't raid Pwn's stuff like he can raid mine without like ruining my entire like build, basically. Hmm, it's a big stick. Yeah, you know he's got a big walking stick. Let's see that. That'll be done in a turn. Council as we once did. Dude, if the AI like blocks me here, I'm gonna be so bummed. Oh god. Probably I'll eventually destroy that city. That's so annoying here, dude. This spot sucks. This spot really sucks. But like, there's a couple of really good resources up here I wanted to get. So need to make sure to annex this right away and get the astral dew. All right. Uh, Air a board. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if that one's right. You're you're making a decision right now or something, right? Or fighting? Me? No. Hmm. It says you're fighting up on the top. Okay. See? So dual swords on your character yeah it must be like there's some it's stuck on some decision of some sort so i'm gonna rejoin real quick i, I just passed my turn yeah i'm just rejoining it's there's something buggy mm. <laughs> good instead of evil it's not the same it's not it's really not ea sports it's in the game okay maybe it was like a connection issue i don't know I don't know what their server situation's like. I would uh, assume it's like peer to peer. Do right. you guys, you guys see my my secret strat that I'm doing here? Like you got, you guys understand what I'm doing? Okay, so that all went fine. We got that set up. We got that set up, and now we can enter. All right, great. All good in the neighborhood. So, firstly, we're gonna take this. Okay. Wow. You need to calm down, dude. Now. now. 
It is time. Oh, God. What is it time for, though, man? That's the question. The reckoning. You're in combat, yeah? Yes. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Your game did not die on you this time. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> not like this. So we have some halfling heroes we can get. Oh, we could also get some goblins, which is kind of weird. Be a halfling hero. Oh, this guy's good. Dalton, this like little shire guy, because he has three um, nature affinity. So he'll whatever he's governing, he'll help us climb the uh, nature tree faster, which is going to be good. Yeah, pill I, I prefer playing evil, but sometimes good can be strong um, for sure. I mean, especially if you're going devotees of good, it's going to be pretty uh, pretty important to do, right? Are you fighting your hard fight there? The one that you were worried about? Yeah, I'm fine there right now. Sweet. Okay, so that looks like it's coming along here. Need a little bit of money, so what we'll do is we'll cancel this tavern and then build that second hero and slam him into uh, Bilbo's army, and then we're good. Uh -oh. We're good. I don't know what, if I have any bow and arrows or anything. That's what I would really like. Let's see. Let's look at items. Some nice mounts. Wand of healing. White wolf. Nightmare mount. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get any good gear for uh, for that character. So it is what it is. Yeah, we're not we're we're playing a, we're playing a one v one. So we just started with war with one another. So the the whole grievance thing isn't going to be a variable in our game. We're also doing no spell victories and no spell jammers. So it's going to be either just battle or expansion victory, which is extremely unlikely on a map of this size. Yeah, extremely unlikely. All right, you're all done, yeah? Yep. Sweet. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. All right, so let's go down here. Karate chop you. Yes. A cloud in a bottle. Cancel this. And we can recruit you. Message in a bottle. What is this spell thief guy? Gain wall. Uh, gain the plus hostile. Ooh. This is actually really good, guys. This is insanely good. I think we have to take that trait. Spell thief. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> should I just should I just giga chad them into into being uh hmm. at peace? This guy will advance our tech faster. Yeah, you know, let's just go with him. We need a combat character. Know. You winning, dude? Uh, uh, I wasn't fighting. I was just. I I found your your vassal. You did. You found you found the precious, huh? Yeah, and she's like, "We're at war," and I could have used like my my evil dragonness to make them just be like, "Oh, my bad." <laughs> yeah. Just evil dragon things. All right, cool. So we got those two important nodes. So now the AI shouldn't be able to block the expansion yeah. of that city. I I think it's time to. You're attacking Start me already? But no, 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 not that time. You're coming for blood, huh? Smog, Smog is is hungry. Not that time. It's getting there though. <laughs> uh, we can sell some item that we're perhaps not interested in, like this. What does that do? It pushes things back. Yeah, so let's unequip that. Let's sell it. Probably not going to use the Nightmare Mount. We're probably not going to use that. So no, transformations do not affect the dragons because you, you have to select a race and you can't select your dragon. Correct. But when you level up your dragon at... Uh, so there's a small change, as you can see, like the belly changed when I selected my first breath. Oh, right here. When I selected my first breath, then at level 12, you get your major upgrade, which does change you into a different race as well so like if you choose the shadow one you get undead if you choose materium you get elemental if you choose uh chaos you get fiend etc etc what he said <laughs> exactly what he said yes going to set it better myself dude bilbo's bilbo's coming to get it to you dude you better watch out the Shire, the Shire hungers for blood, dude. You think all those feasts, you think all those feasts are innocent? <laughs> oh, I found Erebor. Oh, there it is. It took you that long, huh? Yeah, it did take me some time. Like I said, we weren't very far away. Well, I was scouting my nearby stuff before I really pushed out to see what you're up to. I won't fall for your tricks. Dude, Bilbo's looking so smug, dude. 
I'm gonna look at Erebor. Pwn probably only has one haggard city over there. We'll see. He's oh, he's on to me. I am, dude. I've I've discovered your schemes. Okay, let's see this and this. Now we've got that. So I do like this idea for this to get the support stuff for our army. I think that's and mark of invulnerability is like one of my favorite things for because then you can actually send in melee characters for at least one turn before they die. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to do that. Definitely good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Magical words. It's not bad. All right. Let's get you. That's coming along. That's coming along. And um, we can go ahead and get the little vendor action. You're going to be finishing soon. That will take, what, two quarries? I need 200. Okay. Next turn. Oh. Oh, forgot to move this guy. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper faithfully into the ears of my vassals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? That looks like it's coming along. We probably want to get clergy commons after that to get a little bit of mana income. Bilbo's heading to the middle of the map. Magical words is very good. I'm gonna get that too. It's it's they're not mutually exclusive, so. I'm just kind of like trundling around Pone's base right now to see what he's up to. Dude, the halfling bannerman cometh. Gouts are everywhere. I know. I know, man. Dude, I've been having so much fun playing the uh, magic card set for Lord of the Rings. Like the flavor, the flavor is so good on like how the cards play. All right, let's see if we can fight this without losing anything. Yeah, looks like good. Do this, do this, and then we slap down an army heal on you. Dude, level six Bilbo. Endurance training, probably one of the best uh, army buffing abilities you, you can get. You have level get. six Bilbo already? Yeah, dude. What is Smog doing? He's yeah. just messing around over there? I'm level six too, but I thought I thought I was going to be way <laughs> You thought wrong, brother. Let me see that. Let's grab these nodes while we can. All right, let's creep around. For you. How's he doing this chat? How is he doing what I did? This <laughs> makes no sense. I know. Two levels on you. So Lord of Crops, Lord of Production. Lord of Magic gives 15 mana. Lord of Crops gives us food income. Um, production. Oh, freebies. Your Lord of Production. Sure, why not? And uh, Fighting. Sure, why not? Love to get some gear for this guy, but he's pretty junky at the moment. Okay, okay, looking good. Time to head south. I see Erebor over there, dude. I see the forbidden lands of Smaug. This is this is gonna be a rumble quick, I bet. Oh man. Guys, Erebor, Erebor is over here. It's got six city tiles at the moment, so it's smaller than Bag End, which makes sense since he's playing Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten any golem from you on today's stream, dude. You got to step up your game here. What do you mean? I did it earlier. A little bit. I feel like there could be some more. Uh, all right, so that's on the way. That's on the way. So there's no pleasing you. I know. I'm making it difficult here. Then we can go ahead and uh, do this, followed up by this. Hopefully we can like expand the city like through this little like avenue here. It's what I'm kind of banking on. Bit of a cramped map. Oh, this is so. This is a one v one map with far, uh, like far distance from your opponent, which it still kind of spawns you close. All right. Oh. Draft nightmare or. I don't like that. Are you ready for us to train some new recruits in Bag End? Oh, I got an eagle mount, bro. Oh, summon the eagles. <laughs> they ride to your aid, eh? They do. Uh, okay, so that's not very good. Reckless Rage, Thunder Defenses. Yeah, that's not great. Holy Retribution is kind of an interesting one. Mass Rejuvenation. Heals are always welcome. I guess we're going to be summoning the Barrow Whites to do Battle with Bone. 
Barrel whites. They're coming, dude. Undying loyalty, target friendly unit. That's actually not a bad one to just slap in there. Kind of a bit of a support hybrid situation. It's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do we name the other city here? This could be the Prancing Pony. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but that's where the their hobbits are going to go and get crunk and dance on tables and stuff. In the meantime, can I reach people, you? Frog people. What, you have frog people? I found some evil frog people. Oh, okay. What am I supposed to name the second city, boys? <laughs> you calling in the calling in the big guns, eh? Somebody has to know more than I. Hmm. Yeah, so we could do this. This will help us speed it along. And we could, I guess we could just incorporate the city and expand that way. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It, uh, <laughs> All right. Low risk battle. Until something better. <laughs> this is actually a bit of a tricksy one. I might have to fight this. Let me make sure I'm all squared away before I fight that. Okay, that looks good. That's coming along. Let's get the old uh, tavern here. We need to keep the cities happy, obviously. <laughs> Gun to bad, Smogville. <laughs> I personally like Smogville. I think that's my favorite. Um, let's do this to get extra food in our cities. Looking good. Hmm, can we win this? We should be able to, right? Ugh, these things have that convertibility, though, which is awful. Oh, God. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, oh. Okay, we did it with no drama. I think I kind of want the S. You know, it's pretty wild, mm. man. I haven't had to fight a single battle this, this entire time. Y'all, well, I've been saying it for tens of thousands of years, but you're OP. The Shire is OP, dude. The Hobbits are. Oh, you can name it Lake... Oh, Lake Town. Yeah, Lake Town's good. Where Smog goes, like, bananas. Yeah. I, I think... Lake Town is good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a winner. Um, Sorry, boys. It's that. That's what we're going to go with. Yeah. It's a solid one. Solid one. <laughs> it was currently Air A Boar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so janky, dude. Was it Lake Town? Yeah, Lake Town. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so that's the free city here that Pwn would love to be pals with, I would imagine. And Pwn is obviously going to be taking this city here. Living it up. More down here. Mm. I mean... Ooh, kind of want... Kind of need that, though. You up to no good, man? Started making trouble in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. so the prancing pony grows. Let's pop in. That looks like a terrible fight. Ethan, how you doing, man? Yeah, we're playing uh, Smaug versus Bilbo Baggins today, so we haven't had too much conflict yet. It's been pretty low key. Um, we're kind of getting to the point where we're going to be hitting our second tomes here in a minute. I don't know what Pwn's knowledge situation looks like. Probably not as good being a haggard barbarian, but um, how dare you, dude? It's the truth, man. It's the truth. North Peak is the he, goblin. He thinks us barbarians know nothing? <laughs> just just squatting on the ground, banging rocks against trees. Unga bunga. Kawa, Kawa bunga, dude. Let's probably build an outpost right here to secure this. This is not the best spot for a city, to be honest. It's really not. Here's Erebor. Here's Pwn's capital. Bag End and the Prancing Pony are growing. Dragons are good for knowledge, yes. They they have the ancient um, governor thing, which is really strong. So I think like a dragon after a couple levels can give you straight up 30 knowledge, which is really good. But there are no Bilbo Baggins. That's for sure. All right. Or so, so he thought. This is Imperium. I think that's probably fine. Okay, mana is rough. We need a little bit of mana, that's for sure. Hurry that production. Hurry that production. Put this, and we need to get a mana building. We're just suffering here, Tithe Shrine. Yeah. There we go.
Look at Pone over here. He's got the pact of loyalty with these these treacherous goblins. Oh, this is gonna pull my ally into easy fight. Kill them all! I wish I... You foolish mercenaries! I wish I knew where Smog was. Yeah, I wish I knew what he was up to. It's certainly a little bit unnerving to not know what he's what he's doing or planning. Smog does not simply reveal himself. Yeah, that's true. He just sits in a mountain. Yeah, that's what he does. How are we looking here? Oop. Okay, so just comparing the two distances, still a little bit. Definitely not having the best time in the woods here. <laughs> so I think we head up this way and do a little bit of that. Which is going to be the way to do it. Nothing we want to grab there. Ending turn. Okay. Okay. We got you camping out in the hills. Smog being a, a terror somewhere, I'm sure. And we knew we needed to get the clergy commons. So our mana sucks. And we can also get one of you. Should have built an outpost while I was down there. But we will build another scout. <laughs> uh, you dying there or what, dude? Defenders. No. Nope. But that seemed like a really good buff to have. No! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just lose something? No, but... That was quite an emphatic no. You know, that wasn't just like a... Yeah, that well, was... That was a serious one. I'm gonna have to fight this now. It went from being what I thought would have been incredibly easy to <laughs> like this buff would have like made all the enemy units uh, have berserk, right? Yeah. So now I would have just started, and they would all have been trying to kill each other. But now, since I failed it, they all just have strengthened. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna get dunked on by these by these gremlins no. over there. No, 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 no. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. I just have to fight it myself. Yeah, I got you. Hmm. So probably we just absorb these guys. Have two haggard cities side by side, which feels really bad. Um, and then we can give the Whispering Stone to these guys down here. Because this is like, you know, nobody's gonna... That's just kind of chilling down there. He just found out Darth Vader's his father. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> no! No! That's impossible! Okay, what do we got here? The pretty nice little sequence of camps here, oh, to be honest. You can actually hit me there. This is Surprisingly. A, a good city up here. Honestly, this would be a really good city spot. Maybe we just leave this as a vassal and we just uh, build the city that way. Oh, they're able to kind of expand out that way. There's really not that much room. I guess we got that, that, and that, man. The cursed vassal blocking our city. My favorite affinity, ooh, Shadow for sure. I just love haggard necromancy and like evil magic. It's just, it's just so fun. Yes, it's just so much fun. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Seventy percent chance I got wrecked. Are you losing over there now? Or are they are the strengthened well, no. gremlins showing you who's boss? Nope. Okay, that's good to hear. So, did I already nope. build one that, of those? That is. Oh, whiff. Okay, I lose. Just kidding. Imagine it'd be like if I wasn't, though. I know. You've had to fight a lot. What culture are you playing? Barbarian. Okay. Barbarian, Barbarian. autos are okay. The units are kind so, of squishy. So I was only rolling with Smog for a bit. Just to power level him. Oh. So he would get all the XP. And that's why I was like, how the hell is... <laughs> how the hell are you the same level as me? <laughs> <laughs> After all my power leveling. Bilbo is level 7 at the moment. About to get a little bit more experience, I would wager. Hmm. Fire weed. So one turn until the Pact of Vassalage, and then we can give the Whispering Stone to here. someone else. Pone's lying, probably. He's probably scheming somehow. What do you think about the new Necromancy? It's really good, actually. I, uh, I've been enjoying it hardcore. Yeah. Like, Pone and I played a dragon game where I used the new Necromancy, and it was very strong. It, it, felt, it felt pretty solid to me. Um, I think we want to get another Whispering Stone. Oh. Yeah, we'll use the diplomatic uh, channels to get a second stone. It's cheaper than uh, the general tree. 
Pwn's had all these like hard fights, and the dreaded Bilbo is just auto resolve smashing everything. I'm playing a champion. That's, I usually play champions; they're my favorite. Like for I like playing expanding cities and like you know having good income and good economies, and champions are the best for that, hands down. Yeah, late game dragons are terrifying. Once you get them fully like geared out and like yeah, their dragons can be really scary, especially Materium dragons. Well, not the dragon itself, but like the culture as Materium prospecting oh. with dragon hoarding is so strong. What'd you say, brother? I said beautiful. Yeah, you, you're doing all right there? Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Your doom is secured now. I'm I'm waiting for the inevitable doom, dude. You've been hyping this up. Doom. <laughs> Erebor sitting with six six territories looking mighty scary here. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Yeah. Just like the dragons. That's what she said. What do we got here? It's always named something Vec. Something edgy and evil. What were you fighting there, by the way? Was it something cool or? Uh, I was doing one of the wonders. Yeah, got it. How strong are imagine, imagine dragons? Yeah, the race mounts are, um, yeah, you like the spider mounts, pretty good. The unicorns are just situationally good. There's tons of viable strategies in this game, honestly, which is what makes it so fun. Materian bolstering dragons makes them really tough to kill. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, okay, that that's why. Uh, we'll wait till we heal up. We won't. We won't take that just yet. You just dragging us through the pits here, dude. Oh, I, oh because I'm a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So it looks like he finished the fight. I think. Yeah. So we got some control back. We're pretty much done for the turn. Um, we could hurry build that. I don't think we need to. And turn. I see Smog sitting here, looking all smug. Look at him. Or, oh, that's one of his scouts. It's a scout! Okay, goblins moving. Pone's making a hard decision Heal there. Him. Just getting your scout out. Yeah, I made the mistake of moving that unit down there. It was it was supposed to stay in the hills and just cackle, but... Yeah. The scout had to go, man. You... Oh. Interesting. All right. Funny. You got some funny business over there, or what? I think so. I would consider it to be funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not enough Imperium quite yet. Uh, I think we just clear this out. Take the dreaded auto. Did kill our archer. Nah. It's not a huge deal. I don't want to make you guys sit through that. Oh, a Dwarven Dowie Hammer, dude. You know who's getting the Dowie Hammer, guys. Oh, <laughs> Hammer Halfling. Okay. We annex the province. This is so good. So good. You feeling pretty strong over there? And tasty. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's not have him have that. We'll give that to... To your boy. Okay, so we have that vassal, um, which I think we'll keep saucing up because it's going to give us some good tribute right now. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. A little bit of knowledge, a little bit of mana. This does feel like an interesting spot here, but this this AI city is very obstru obstructive. I don't know where Pone Dog is. He's he's scheming in the shadows somewhere. We gonna have a scout duel? <laughs> uh, I was thinking we might. <laughs> it, we should fight that and see who who's, who scout will emerge victorious. If that's the case, comes on to whoever has the better damage magic. Yeah, I don't think I have any, so I'd probably favor you. <laughs> I don't think I have any either. Yeah, we would just be <laughs> be battling it out. All right, so we can get this. It's gonna be a handful of turns. Um, Are we battling it? Oh, guys, the scouts are going at <laughs> the it. First battle of the stream. Dude, this is the one to decide them all. So I don't have any upgrades or anything. Yeah, we have the same I amount would of argue you have the advantage. Why is that? Because you get to go first. I attacked you. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it matters too much. I, I don't think I have any damage spells. 
You get it. Oh, buffs work good too. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what I got. Uh, wow. That's not helpful. Just blasting you in the trees. You guys ready for the big MLG plays? Um, okay, that's a little something something. Which one's Windring? Is that the one that super buffs your defense against ranged attacks? Oh, dude, I just grazed you so hard, dude. Yeah, I saw that. We have the Prancing Pony. Yeah. No mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you, you, you <laughs> I was invulnerable for the turn. Oh, that's really funny, bro. I can only use it once, though, per unit, so it's not like super crazy. Uh huh. Broken. Oh, Wrath of oh, the Oh, you got damage! I've been lied to! <laughs> Wait, you, your guy has melee? No. <laughs> I did have the one starting. Oh shit, dude! This is looking rough for you, man. You're not wrong. Why is it he ran right up on me there? Especially since uh, your guy. So I I use the thing to give him strengthen, but it also makes him berserk. Oh. I, I, I didn't know he would be battle charging you, but. Yeah. Okay. Fair it's point. Funny. Dude, this is this is a real tense fight here. La 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 la. la. This is this is the climax of the stream here. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, the flank! Oh, dude, he's got Pona's healing! Oh no! Kill them! I'm out of I'm out of spell casting power, dude. It's over now. Oh no! Pwn has so much healing from the Draconic Vitality. Oh god. I thought my damage was gonna be good. I if I should have buffed. Okay, at least he missed. I guess from here we probably just sit in the trees and shoot at each other. <laughs> probably. Shit. May R and Jesus be a forever on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the battle for Middle Earth. I know the brave halfling fighting the Uruk scouts. If I if I land, he dies. That's is, the cool thing. Is this the high octane action you guys come to on uh, on YouTube? <laughs> this oh. battle is heating up. Uh, I think I'm going to lose it, guys. I think the Shire is going to be defeated here. Okay, that was pretty good. He missed a couple. Oh, we landed, ah! all, th we landed all three there. This is big. This is what you guys subscribed for, huh? You thought you were... Oh, Pwn got the two, the nice connections there too. Let's go. Oh my god. Don't lose to some fat hobbitses. Dude, you know that hobbit over eight too. Oh no. Oh! Wow, that was close. Miss. Miss it all. Oh. No. <laughs> that was a real nail biter, dude. Knockdown. So Looks like I lost because of the Berserk spell. <laughs> yeah, no, that screwed you. If you had just like used that on healing, I'd just lose 100%. Hilarious. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It was worth the funny. Yeah, that was worth every moment. No, he used all his spell points. I used all of my, yeah. Yeah. Look, if I would have had more, I would have used it. Yeah, yeah, indeed. All right, so how are we looking here? Yes. And... I think I'm okay to take that fight now. Hmm. Oh my gosh. You dying over there? No, but can't, let, let's look at their guys. What kills my guy? <laughs> this is amazing. This is the I don't. Oh, oh, a wizard. I can get in his face, though. I, I, we can do that without losing stuff. You fighting a big fight there? Yeah. Although, I mean, this is interesting. I should be a-okay. You're feeling good, huh? You know what's nice is that we don't desync. Yeah, the desyncs are seeming to be less common so far. We've had we've had pretty good fortune with that. And uh, we played the what, like maybe two games, three games on the new patch. It's been it's been pretty smooth. We played several. Yeah, we played a couple. Mm -hmm. 
Bilbo Baggins. He's ready to go, dude. Sire! <laughs> Baggins! That's so good, man. I played uh, with the new Golem card in Tabletop. He's got a couple good versions for sure. There's one Golem in Magic where um, whenever he hits an opponent, like for the rest of the game, like whenever you gain gain life, they like lose that much as long as he's hit them. So it's kind of like a Sanguine Bond on a stick, which is pretty good. I know it might be speaking uh, a little unfamiliar to some of you guys, but they must have corrected a lot of the optimization. Yeah, I think so. They're aiming Smog, which is <clears throat> exactly what we wanted. Okay. Yeah, you got the healing for him, so why not? You've got to have more than one city. Are you just sitting on Erebor right now, just cackling, or what? Well, you know I have more than one city. I only see your one. Well, then that's on you. <laughs> yeah, I see I see Smog sitting there. So Pone's got a small, stronger military than me and uh, better magic, but I have a better economy and I've expanded more, which is pretty, pretty standard fare. I think the dragon will count for a lot of military strength. Hmm. Is there a way to rename characters in PvP games? I feel like you can't. Let's see. Oh, I can. Okay. So this can be... Ah, oh, man. It really... Oh, I can actually adjust the way they look and everything. Oh, that's cool. If we get some time, we'll do that. It would be... It, oh, man. They they almost got my guy. Although he would have... He would have still been alive, but... Yeah, he would come back. Mm -hmm. We'll start in the Wizard's oh. Towers. Mm, this area up here isn't the worst idea, although it is kind of like boxed in by a, a free city, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, it's a little bit troll. They are evil. I think the, there's a lot of evil, evil things on the board. Bonded evil, passage. Evil shenanigans. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of evil, evil schemes on the board. Where else would we want to set up a city? It's like this map is so crowded, it's pretty much impossible to build a lot of cities that are like optimal. This isn't bad up here, I guess. We got focus crystals, some gold veins. Pone's going to vassalize this city in due time. He's going to do that. You weren't able to rename, but they patched it to work in multiplayer with the last update. That's really nice. Yeah, so that's a good change. Then we could annex them for our final our final disappearing act. Melee it is. You getting in there and clawing yeah. some of them? I was just trying not to take more damage there, but he ended up taking exactly, <laughs> exactly what it predicted. Basically, no, 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 no. I, I the fight's not over. I, I am not gonna lose the unit that it thought I was going to. It seems as if they slowed the game down too. Like advancing through the tomes doesn't feel quite as quick. I don't know if that's just me. Have Have any of you guys had that same experience? Uh, I think that's just you. Yeah. Yeah, limited casting points on champions is rough for sure. It's one of the downsides, but your units are pretty, your economy is usually pretty good. Your cities are a little bit more efficient. Wizard Kings are very strong though. Yeah. So are dragons. So. We're, we're, bo we're both pretty sure that Wizard King's still numero uno. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. There's times where I feel like the champion can win. If, if you're playing like a true PvP game where you're like, you know, not waiting till end game to attack. I feel like champions could muster bigger armies earlier and like rush a wizard king. Like our mid game pressure kind of. The tech is definitely slower. Not sure about tomes, but the affinity tree is slower. I haven't played a whole lot. Yeah. So Pone's just wrapping up his battle now. Did not lose anything. Yeah, you, you survived. As huh? was predicted. As was foretold. All right, so let's see if we lose anything. Is this gonna be the first time we have to fight? No, still not. Straight up, just nothing, no battles, dude. Um, okay, so we- Sound disappointed. I, uh, you know, it's a little, a little tricksy. <laughs> God damn, this AI is like expanding so hard. Okay, build an outpost. Uh, uh, I don't want tier one, guys. You want some tier one action? Yes. Hammer time hobbit. Sweet, sweet tier one action. Oh, we have like no gear, guys. That's the one thing I miss about Materium is you're just like always rolling in the gear. 
Mass Rejuvenation is a heal. Restoration is probably better. Just like a fat single target heal. And uh, Spur to Action is always very good also. Wait, what happened to that guy? Which guy? There was a uh, enemy army like running at me. They fled, huh? Maybe. Or, you know, I, he might be hiding in the trees. Hiding in the bushes. Uh, let's go ahead and get the wizard's tower. Yeah, get started on that. Set that up here. Bilbo will clear that out next turn. Pwn with the fast movement. Oh, no. It's insurrectionists. All right, so I guess we have a little mission to do. Just take the AI city. Um, because I'm about to get this. Well, there's not too much that room to work with, guys. Yeah. You're about to get some evil. Uh, yes. Oh no, dude, not like this. Turns victorious scout coming over to rub it in my face. He is. He is. Oh, what do we do? Tomb of the. Yeah, this is what we wanted to do next to get a little bit of DPS. We need to summon the Entmoot to help us. So we're gonna do that, and then I think maybe like revelry could be funny because you know the hobbits like to party and throw down. So I think that that works great. All right, let's get Glade Runner. Hold the line is a nice buff spell. Yes, yes. We should have a pretty respectable economy. Just gonna keep that scout there to keep tabs on Pwn Dog. If you wouldn't mind sending this person away and then just summoning uh, something else. Probably have to pay them to leave. Yeah, they'll. I think they get when they become my vassal. All these things get removed, which is gonna be pretty soon. So, yeah, supreme. Uh Free city shares its magic materials trading cost, and then city can be integrated. And yeah, so we still have a little bit that of time. That seems pretty good. What? What are you looking at? You want to? You want to? You want to bring me into the loop here? Selecting a signature skill. Oh. Okay. Yes. Quite strong indeed. We'll take that. We will take it. Just gonna basically bribe me here. Um, all right, so let's head down this way. Pwn, you still haven't vassalized that free city there. I'm surprised. That one in the middle, you kind of playing some yeah, games North with Yeah, North Peak. Yeah. Yeah. Grants 10 food per adjacent conduit, which we don't really even have here. New rally has started. We don't really have any good units to take from said rally. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to keep doing Age of, uh, Age of Empires 4. 100%. I love that game. Oh, you guys didn't hear? Last night was his last night ever playing it ever. <laughs> yeah. Conspiracies are spreading. If, if, you, if you guys weren't there for the end of the stream, oh boy, did Turin leave off on quite the cliffhanger. Yeah, the big drama. Mm. Oh, I just got the Rings of Binding collection. Oh, dude. Heroes gain defense and 10% bonus damage. Oh, hell yeah. I've never really like taken the time to look at that. Are you going to bind me? I don't know. Well, it's very flavorful for sure. All right. So you're coming this way. What do we have? We can go down there, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> Shire. Precious. That'll give us some Imperium, which is going to help speed us along a little bit. Get the old Stone Mason and the Tithe Barns. We'll chill there. We're chilling up here. Let's grab this. Spells ready to cast. Army heal. Don't really need to do it, but we could do this on the city down here that we're now trying to work a little bit. Great. Dude, we got the rings of power. I know. Pwn's in trouble. That that does not bode well for me. No, it doesn't. Do you have that quest up there? Yeah, maybe I just kind of go and deal with that. It's such a far detour, though. Pwn's about to tame that city. No cool summons or anything. Unfortunately. We do have the rings. Yeah, we got the rings. All right. One ring has been found. Okay, let's do that. This looks like it is a marauder army. Okay, so we can just go beat them down, get a little bit of experience. Uh-oh. I see, I see Smog's Mole Man? Mole man. Are you hunting my scout with Marching Mole Marching in to come kill you. 
You coming for me, dude? What is this? You see that mole? Save me. There's <laughs> nothing like nothing like mole man. Nice quick turn for me there. I don't know if Smog has heard, but recent studies show that regular Hobbit consumption reduces bad cholesterol. <laughs> well, we can make use of that. I know, I'm, I'm sweating bullets, dude. Cause you'd be- Yeah, but- But it can revive, which is... Pretty good. Oh, we got a crown and a ring of regeneration. I think we probably put that on your boy. I'm gonna put the ring of the vicious killer on this guy. Which is gonna be way better. All right. Now they are truly goblins. So it begins, dude. Uh, they'll take four turns, so we'll go with this one next. At the start of combat, adds to oh, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. They must die. Filthy mercenaries. Did you attack my scout? No, no, you didn't. Okay. No. I would never. I thought you were coming for it. wasn't sure. 350. All right, let's see if we can muster any funds. Yeah, we can. Cancel that, and let's get you. Recruit this. Yeah, this guy looks pretty nice. <laughs> Gotta love goblins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. That's building. Don't have anything going on here quite yet. Let's go ahead and just throw down a uh, an old farm. And then we can throw this down too for a little bit of money. Money, money, money. Let's see what skills this preset AI came with. Um, definitely gonna respec him. Let's throw him on a, uh, you can have an eagle mount, cause it's cool. I need to march this way. Lord of crops, Lord of magic. Yeah, we'll go Lord of magic. I think it's very flavorful. The mighty Bilbo and Dalton Smith. Yeah, they'll, he'll get renamed here in a minute. I just haven't gotten around to it. The un, the necromancer himself. Yeah, they got some. They got. And some, so is Bilbo. He got some spells for sure. Uh, resistance, yes. Distant evocation. Not the spirit hawk. And magecraft. I'm curious just to see what the hell's back here. You wondering what schemes I got? I see your schemes right in front of me. Foul undead treachery would seem. Yeah, I have a little undead, not too much though. You don't need to worry about too much, man. All right, let's throw that down. Uh, can I still move? Yes. Okay, great. Hey, hey. Halflings are pretty great. Mole man, the betrayer. Yeah, I know he sure is. He's he's the uh, the minion of old Pone here. All right, so we can grab you. See, my necromancy is of a different sort. <laughs> I just bring them back to life with holy magic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's throw that down. What is this the guy from earlier? It is. Where's he been? Which guy? Oh, this this guy right here. <laughs> the. The mighty Ungrath Lashmaster. <laughs> oh, Ungrath, dude. I love it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good ability. We'll get that one. Halflings have the best voice acting. Yeah, it seems pretty good, to be honest. Oh, man, it's... No, it's the goblins. <laughs> I think the moles are really good, too, though. Just, like, the weird squeaking sounds they make. <laughs> okay, look at Can all set here. We'll uh, cancel this. Let's get the wizard's tower online. Prancing Pony can annex a province. Don't really have too many more options there, unfortunately. Somebody's saying you gotta quote smog a lot more. Just go Google some quotes. Oh. The magical words have come. Riddle keeper. No, thank something, you. Something about a riddle keeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got. I love it. I am death. Yeah, he's got some. He's got some cool, 
cool uh, cool quotes I would imagine. I don't know them terribly well myself. All right. Looks like we can expand out this way. Um, let's just take the mine because that's a nice little economic boon. Do the wizard's tower recall here. Kind of liking the buff, the buff route. Talking for your dragon, yeah. Oh, my, my YouTube chat just crashed. How dare you, dude. Did you just slacking over there? It wasn't me. Yeah, I heard that song on the radio the other day. Great song. Yeah, it's fun. All right, pretty quick turn. Passing it here. I see some evil lurking in the distance here. Not sure what it could be, but I feel like it's probably you. Some evil pwn action. Are we looking? The city's coming along nicely, yes. Definitely need some more Imperium. So polearm units, Coast mm. Rivers, Spirit Wolf. What we're gonna do is grab this. That lets us get things when we basically take heroes down, so. Somebody dares try to steal from me. Hmm. It's aspect of the root time, dude. Okay, tavern's on the way. How's your economy looking, by the way? Mine's doing a okay. Yeah, you're pretty loaded. The dragon sword definitely helps a bit with that. Um, so we got a mine, a farm, and let's just slap down like a quarry here. Sure, why not? Gabo's roll. I don't like the sound of that. Let's get the glade runner moving and a grooving. Pone's probably just like trundling in the deep seas. Would be my guess. All right. Where are we at? I see NPC army hanging out there. And uh, yeah, Astral, Astral is very fun. It is, it's quite good too. Astral definitely can be punishing. I think like late game Astral is definitely one of the most like OP kind of things you can do. I mean, everything kind of has its place in this game, which is cool. Like Materium is one of the weirder ones. Like solo, I feel like like mono Materium is kind of bad. But um, mixing it with other things is obviously pretty good. Too good. Too cool for school, man. Yes. What's this one? This is a gold three wonder. That is not what we're fighting. It's not what you're <laughs> about. Sure. It's definitely nice that barbarians can build outposts too. Phasing around, causing shenanigans. Yeah, and the magic is insane. Like with with late game astral armies, you can literally just like sit in the corner and just blast people, and it's like super hard to stop. How's that army doing? It's like a oh okay, it's a little something something. Let's see what our research yields next. Um, we can do one shuffle because neither of these are that good. Although it does give us one magic resist, so let's just take it. Yes, aspect of the root. It's a cool one. Let's see your front liners heal themselves. All right, let's do this. Oh man, okay. So we can we want to speed it along. So we but we also want to be cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. In the back city, we can produce merchandise for this turn. Looking good, looking good. Everything's uh, hanging out there. <laughs> can we not see Coat Council as we once did? That's like the story of our, our Age of Empires relationship, Allied. It's like <laughs> every game you and I are neighbors, it's like, can we not see Council as we once did? I wonder what I wonder what Smog is up to, guys. He's he's being a little bit. When Pone gets quiet, you know. <laughs> the scheming. Begins. Yeah, the big scheming. Okay, pack the loyalty. Uh, how much do I care? 
Maybe I just do this. Materium Chaos, Pyromancy, and Crucible can get some that. Yeah, I've tried that. It's really fun tech tree. It's really, really fun. Hmm. Bilbo Baggins. Here, done here. Rush. Take six turns for that. That's going to be finishing in a couple turns. This is like a, this is a super essential one in PvP. You always want to build this as quickly as you can. It's like the difference between getting karate chopped and not. Oh, they dare come fight me. You? Let's see how the auto goes. Oh, one of the um, renegade armies or whatever. Ah, uh, man. I mean, acceptable. We'll allow it. Oh, wow. They actually sallied out to attack me. All right, I'm going to see if I lose anything. If I do, then we'll fight it. It would literally be the first time we fought. I'm not I'm not even going to know how to use my army. <laughs> yeah, as expected. So we just got a ton of knowledge from that too, guys, because of the... Uh, because you're a dark wizard. Well, I, I have a little dark just from the, 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 the ability, so I'm able to kind of summon you things. You cannot fool me, Turin Stormcrow. I know, man. I know. Or should I say, Turin the Stupid. The Stinky. Okay. Pwn getting a little nasty up there. Look at him go. Taking down old North Peak, eh? Let's go. Let's go spy on him and see what he's up to, yeah? <laughs> Just hanging out. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Melee attacks gain. It could give him some defense. What does Forest Warden do? The hero's armies in the forest, all non-hero units. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so melee attack skills. Bilbo looking like a mighty halfling ruler. Precision training, uh, forest warden. Game money, yeah. Your game crashed? No, it's a, it's a time to gain a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah, you should do it. That increases our horde tenfold. Oh my god, the dragon sword grows in power, guys. Um, let's inspect Can and see. Anything worth to give him? What do you got? Oh, we actually have some good items on this character, man. Okay, we're gonna definitely. Uh, I think we're gonna swap to that. Or that. I mean, man. I like them both. Nice guys. We just got this guy nice and pimped out. He's he's ready to go now. I'll do that one. Reset skills. You getting you get nice and sauced over there? Yes. All right. That's what I like to hear, man. Yes. Uh, in terms of damage material, let's see. You're talking about the create forest spells. Yeah, yeah. You have that later. Okay, wizard's room. That's coming along. Not a ton of money from that city, but it tries its best. I think smog is 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 being the desolator against North Peak here. He's got two turns until it's broken. Uh -huh. Evil smog. Evil. So, evil. Let's look at the power rankings right now. Yeah, same as before. He's got stronger military, better magic, and I've got the other two. <laughs> hmm. Okay, through the city, we'll have that in case we need to make a quick escape. You have the troublesome uh, army up there, which is just a quest, which isn't going to matter anytime soon. These guys will be loyal to us in a moment, giving us some resources. <clears throat> These invaders will be cleansed by holy fire, and they're on the opposite corner of the map. Nice. Do you want to fight this? <laughs> what are you attacking? I have the mole man fighting your scout. You can just auto it if you want. It's fine. Save the load. In I mean, I, I don't think I have any magic that I could cheese you with. Mole man. All right, auto combat. And uh, migrate to the Shire, absorb, raise. That looks fine too, probably. Do a little bit of this. Probably, he says. A mine. <laughs> Leaf skin, new tome here. So we're gonna go with this because it's just too flavorful to have the hobbits just getting crunk drinking, you know. 
we can we can make up our own our own lore for that. Oh, man, so many choices here. So that's only for those units. Those units are great. My ally. All right. Okay, so that can be done now. We just don't have the mana for it, I don't think. Is that what it is? Ah, oh, man, those are super mana intensive. So currently, yeah, we're just missing these. There are no valid targets for that. We already have that. Um, and we need more mana for that, okay. So probably get some mana buildings. Probably get a little bit of that. Smog being nasty somewhere. Okay, looking good. The mint is here. Convent gives us knowledge and mana. Not a bad choice. <clears throat> the eagles are coming, Bo. <laughs> are the eagles on their way? Is this is this going down already? Uh, you tell me. Oh. You're the eagle guy. You're the eagle rider. I thought. I mean, I see him walking around with the staff, but yeah, he's 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 around. All right, let's take that doggo there. It's pretty useful unit. The hobbits are hiding in the trees. Ah, the Glade Runner. Excellent unit. Yeah, they're pretty good. I, I need some, like, DPS of some sort, and I'm just kind of like... Oh, our first desync of the day. Not too bad. GG. Game is useless. Drinking. Speaking of useless games, uh, is... Uh, Are you, were you going to talk called? about Company of Heroes? No. <laughs> I, I, that game's still fun. It is. It is fun, yeah. Uh, I was gonna talk about Blood Bowl. <laughs> I know, man. I, I understand season. The season's supposed to come out here soon. Is it finally happening? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the question is, will they have everything? <laughs> oh God, you know it's gonna be a freaking disaster, bro. Um, why can I not make roads through there? Right, interesting. Disaster, disaster. Well, that was a hey, we finally got one. And and we got our matriarch. We got Shelob. You got Shelob? No, oh, no. Yes. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, sure, why not? And then you can make this. Oh, Shelob is here. Take a little bit of that. It's going to be a few turns, but should be fine. Finishing, finishing. We could do that, which I think we'll do soon here. We got a hot moment before that's really needed. If I wanted to be Lizardman, do I just pick? Yeah, so you pick, you pick, uh, you pick the Toad. You pick the Lizardman as your core race, like the the like you know the lizard-looking guys. And then when you're finishing your army building, you can change the race of your ruler into a Toad. So the Toad is like the overlord of your Lizardman. It's basically just like a slan. Yeah, I like using the roads. I do. You can definitely do a Lizardman some justice. Yeah, hundred percent. I see, I see Pwn's little uh, side army here with all these goblins. He's got the uh, dragon race transformation, which is very good. Okay, what do we want to do here? Get that to the next tier. Everything looks good. I, yeah, I do wish the vassals were, sli uh, were slightly more active. Yeah, so the vassal system will get updated uh, in quarter four of this year. <laughs> Which is exciting to hear for sure. All right, so what's this look like? That's a pretty respectable garrison. It's crazy how strong the vassals are when you, uh, yeah, when you snag them. And yeah, they, and like they usually just get like a tier three doom stack. Yeah, it's really really gnarly. Okay, looking good to me. How much are we getting right now? Yeah, nothing yet. In time, the city will give us tribute, but it's gonna take a take a hot moment. Pack to Vassalage in a few minutes. Smaug has got Erebor, sitting at nine population, so pretty nice uh, populated city. He's raiding my territories. This troll, troll little mole. I love how the mole is like your dude. <laughs> he comes in the night. He sure does, man. He sure does. What do we got? Did I totally forget to get research? Uh Almost forgot about research. Somebody in chat saying Blood Bowl. Did the Blood Bowl season already drop? Is it out? 
I don't know. If it is, we should get our league going again and see if it actually is works. Is it out, and is there admin tools? Oh, my God. That's like That was so stupid. We had like actually a pretty fun season out of the gates, and just because one person wasn't there, we couldn't advance the league. It's like so shitty. Like, what are they... God, man. What are they thinking in the offices, you know? They're just like, yeah, this is... This is going to work great. Like, I imagine there was some corporate man who was like, release it. He's like, but, like, but my lord, <laughs> yeah. there is no such game ready. Yeah, and then they just. <laughs> but it was, at, but there he walked out and there wasn't a horde of orcs. He's like, oh, I thought there'd be a lot more. <laughs> Fuck it, send them. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bleak, dude. Pone's got his troll little scouts all over the map. This. Getting their jollies. Bilbo Baggins. A lesser tide spirit, huh? You got the old tide spirit? Yeah, just seeing what's all in the corner here. Oh, the top left or top right? Bottom left. Oh, yeah. It's uh, There's a large monster den, and then there's uh, a vassal city down there. It's not to give you too much intel, but you know. We're homies. I got you. Uh huh. All right. Let's take this stupid mole out. My mole. Spend fifty gold to repair it. Oh god. <laughs> Just and it was seventy-five for me. To yeah, it's, it's definitely a slight, a slight advantage for you there. Um, okay, per adjacent farm. Which we can put it right here, I suppose. So what are we gonna get? Yeah, it's better. Better than a regular research post. Smaug is just sitting being a fat dragon in his keep there. I would wager. Yes. Okay, new empire skills available. The reshuffling one is pretty good. It's it's really not ah, bad. I see, I see, I see. I see. About to get this, guys. This is the dreaded tech that Pwn won't expect. And Smaug just sitting all smug in his north peak over there. Yes. Yeah, I figured as much. Mm -hmm. yeah, Prancing Pony's a little bit trapped up. I mean, it's still got nine population, which is pretty respectable. Yeah, this is a fun one though, guys. If you see the trade it gives, it's actually pretty relevant on this uh, in this kind of situation here. <laughs> Molly, moly, mole. And Austin Powers, what a classic, huh? I love Austin Powers. Yeah, it's like that's one of the really quintessential movies of our time, like our generation. I feel in terms of comedy. Uh, what is that? Two eighteen. Yeah, we do that next turn. I think everything has got something building, building, and then you're building for another turn. All right, so let's pop that. Don't be hating on the elemental scouts. Oh, look how scary they look now. Oh, yes, good. Good, Anakin, good. All right, dude. I see she Shalob over there. Shalob. She's looking like she's coming. Had a feature to target friendly or unknown province. Or unowned. Oh, that's really funny. Alright, let's pop that. Although, honestly, I feel like we could shuffle. So let's get the research for this. And then shuffle for something a little bit more immediately useful. There we go. Alright. And then you can come. Jump you out. And get you over there. The Mine of Doom. Yes, yes. And then you should have something we can build here. Clergy Commons, yeah. Looks nice to me. All right, so we don't know what the Pwn is up to at the moment. Certainly no good. I, I see his little, like, goblin guy with my scout sitting in the trees there. This one's much higher. Yeah. <sighs> you sweating bullets over there? Uh, yeah. Dude, look at Pwn's draconic goblins. Uh, it's not bad, Johnny. It, 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 you gotta look at the other applications outside of the just the pure like stat buff it gives. Yeah, like maneuverability is pretty good. 
Yeah, we got we got a lot to a lot to work with there. Okay, down here, looking calm. Our vassals slowly growing in terms of their uh, their their love for us. Supreme vassalage going to be reached soon. Pone's got the dreaded barbarians. Hmm. What does this autumn fairy even do? I think it just shoots lightning and stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. Now we're just waiting on old Pwn. Should be able to get it next turn into the army. Hey, Alejron! The one town being named Prancing Pony instead of Tuck Row is definitely bothering you. Okay, I got you, man. I got you, Alejron. This one's for you. When it comes to the Duchess, okay, 60%. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't care about that. Uh oh, Pone's up to something. I can't complete uh, this action. I, I oh, I pulled your army into this fight against Marauders. <laughs> Did you? Is it both my yeah. armies or just one? That's kind of weird. That no, it's just one of your army. It's just one of your guys. But I, I guess we'll fight it. But Is you got an AI on your team. Is it my heroes or just uh No, it's your wolf. Just the wolf by itself? No, you you had a stack with it. Oh no, that's really weird. Yeah, because uh that's that's unfortunate for me. You're definitely gonna win this. Oh, that's actually really bad for me, dude. So guys, my army just got pulled in to battle pwn. Which is weird because there was like a random AI army, so I'm just gonna lose this entire force. <laughs> oh, that's so bad, dude. Oh uh, you got a level five hero leading the charge. Who me? Oh no no! This is this is definitely. This was my no, second no, army. The, the AI person there. Yeah, this is not good. This is really bad. It's okay. We'll scrap as hard as we can. We're gonna have to retreat after this, so that's for damn sure. Must be his allied free city. Uh, I don't think so. No, it's not. This was just, it had the red uh, castle keep thing over. Oh it well, maybe it's just a mar roaming marauder army. I think maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's really not good. Uh, I guess it, I guess it could be from your. Your vassal that's like behind you, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, well, are these little? Yeah, they are little halflings. The Shire, yeah, it is. It's from. It was a marauding army from, <laughs> from your little AI. Uh, the Shire. Baggins. I know, dude. I know. He's like, I'll lead the charge, and your army's like, Ah, oh, shit! No, you sprung too early. We weren't even trying to fight you there. We were just chilling. Oh, it wasn't no. supposed to happen this way. I don't even know how fleeing works exactly in this game. If I, like, run off with the units. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. So I can't If I flee, I think there's a chance that some of them, like, make their way back to the city after a couple turns. Which is probably the best bet. Oh, man. Just aban abandoned ship. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I might kill a unit of yours. Like, maybe two. The AI is going to just suicide its lord into your army. AI ran to the corner. I know. Do I get magic at least? Let's see. I mean, I could try and trade with some of Pwn's army here, but it's like... I literally have you like should, you, four units. You should be able to use magic. The chance that some show up in the back. That is correct. What are the chances, though? That they actually come back. Yeah, I don't know. Because Pwn's just got like all the scariness here. He's got Smog the Magnificent. Fleeing gives you a really low chance, though. Yeah. This is how the Battle of the Five Armies happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. It doesn't feel like it's the worst. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... Yeah, I know Free Cities do. Uh, so in quarter four of this year, they will be adding war coordination stuff for your... For your vassals, so you can actually make the, like tell them to do stuff, which will be phenomenal. Because right now, just praying to God that they do anything is <laughs> yeah, it's for they're pretty useless. Good. Hmm. Let's see here. So that gives that, and then we could also do this. It's it's a shame. I just got this cool wolf here too. I don't think that's my unit. I think that's my NPC ally. Is, is this is this spirit wolf from your? Uh... Yeah, I used the tech tree to get it. Yeah. So he 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 will revive at your uh, 
At the capital? At your base, I think. Well, or he has resurgence. I think that's only if you win, he comes back. Yeah. I thought I thought it said they're revising your throne city at some point too, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just with resurgence. Not sure. Hmm. So I don't know what the chances are if I if I run. There's really not a whole lot of damage I can do against Pone's army here. They kind of end up just feeding you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The hmm. wolf does not come back if you lose. We'll take our chances fleeing because the AI is just. If I can get one or two of these units back, I'm I'm happy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. I've never done this before, so we're gonna we're gonna find out. In the meantime, Pone's just gonna massacre these other units. He's got a big ass army of a lot of a lot of low tier units, the Alex Unders and the Barbarian, the barbarian. hordes. Barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> the brave retreat. I know. It's the game plan. He bravely ran away away. I didn't. He's coming. Yeah, I could maybe kill like two units. I think maybe. Once I flee, you can even just auto, dude. It'll be it's like, yeah. Unless I guess you might be worried about the Lord over there. They want you to turn around. It's, and it's, try something. I feel like there should be something where you can uh, where you can choose if you want to reinforce an ally. You know, kind of like in Total War, you have the option to do that. That'd be nice. Let's abandon the. Oh, we're taking this L hard. This could be our doom right here, 100%. The brave Sir Robin, yeah, I know. Look at how brave the spirit wolf is running into the bushes here. There's some random defender. It sucks my glade runners. Yeah, those were new units. I just built them. I was so excited to use them. I was so excited. Pone's pretty quick, too. He's got a lot of a lot of speedy little guys. The, dra the dragon thing is really cool, too. It makes all your units pretty strong. Oh, and you even have spawnkin. That's neat. Okay, Smog is roaring, doing Smog things. He's got uh, a fair amount of goodies. Uh oh, damage going down on the Bannerman. Spiders being summoned. Come on guys, get to that edge. Okay, opponent's charging with his goblins here. Should be pretty easy, he's battling just completely unupgraded peasant pikemen up there. Oh, what a buff! What buff was that? That was cool. Whatever that was. Fury of the Horde. Mm, yeah, yeah. So you have Tomb of the Horde. Did they nerf it? Like the 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 strength of some of the Tomb of the Horde stuff? Like, I, I'm pretty sure they nerfed the uh, the the Spawnkin or something. What about the sniper ability? Because that one's pretty insane too. Like late game, you can just like methodically one shot units. Not even late game, but like mid game. The blade, the blaze of the Horde. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so nearby units will lose morale, the unit will lose health. If you lose, the unit will die, scatter, or reappear at your one city. Huh. So you, it's just a chance? Yeah, unfortunately. If I get even one back, I'm going to be pretty happy, though. You can have your banner man back. Oh, I don't care. You can you can try and hunt it if you want. It ain't no thing. No, I, I meant the one that's dying. Oh, that's not mine. That was, oh, that's one of the AIs. Just, yeah, yeah, they got, got a little crazy. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Yeah, dude, this is this is this is looking pretty bleak. That hero did some damage, but yeah, it's gonna die now for sure in the counterattack. Plus, you probably have resurgence on your wyverns, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so they're, they're, they could just come back. All right, let's see what we can get back. If we can get some of the glade runners back, that'd be that'd be pretty sweet. It's bannering time, dude. Oh, the bu the big buffs going down. I don't even know what that was. Morphin time. That was good damage from a tier one unit. Oh, look at the goblins, dude. The draconic goblins was really good. Having ninety seven HP on like a tier one goblin, dude, that's money. Cast in invincibility on the AI hero. No, I'm saving my mana. I'd rather. <laughs> it's going into the pits. Yeah, Pwn would have just. Would have just autoed this one. Easy, easy. All right, here's here's the big dragon. It's hunting its prey. It's a little bit of damage there. Vampire spider's coming. You could definitely just auto this. It's like, it's just, it's just my one unit left. Oh, oh. 
Oh man, that wyvern thing hit hard. Yep, Lord's the Lord is dead there. Fat crits. Yeah, fat crits for sure. All right, so let's flee out of here. Yes. Oh. Oh wait, did he escape? It was kind of weird. It like moved his his icon. Yeah. It says they fleed. Okay, I'm trying to click this. You took a shower. What'd you miss? Uh, well, turns uh. That was turns vassal sent an army at me, which then pulled his army into the battle. That was weird because it was kind of far away. Actually, it was like it was not close by. Yeah, but it happens, man. It happens. Um, all right. Uh, reinforcement range is decent. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty far. All right, so we lost our scrap side army, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Now Smog is, is going to be uh, doing doing some nastiness over there. Let's do this. Grab this city. And do that. I think that's a good idea. 100% right. We will do that. You're going to have some fun there? I don't, I don't want any ultra troll trolling to happen. Yeah. Skeld is nearby. I thought that meant that he's supposed to, supposed to not be at war. Scholar's Guild, yes. What units can we produce here? Nothing that's really worth it. No, no, no. Oh, no. That was a mistake. God. It had an order from the previous turn. Oh, my God. It's so haggard. Dude, look how cool Smog is with his little armies, dude. They're so jacked. Big scary dragon man. So we'll see. The city's basically just doomed up there. Okay, so we pull you back. We can do a summon in a second. Um, sure, why not? And we need to do a little bit up here also. So pop those guys. We're basically just kind of taking it a little bit low key now. I just released that city as a vassal because it was just going to raid it. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, I just... Well, that's actually really good because you just spawned a fucking massive doom stack here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll be able to fight for a moment, but you're definitely going to get them. But Okay, so I think we go down here, take a little bit of this adventure. You can go here and gather these up. Six turns, Jesus. Yeah, is it? It's a long time, huh? The siege? No, not, not, not for the siege. Hmm. That just... For something else, eh? Yes. Oh, he's got no... No walls? Yeah. Let's see what you well, got. Get it, dude. I, I get, we'll see what the auto looks You're going like. to smash that in auto. You might lose like a unit or two. I lost a unit. Yeah. That was going to be my guess. That was still one, two, three, four, five, six knights. And a level five hero. Yeah, well, that's what happens when new vassals are created. It like it does yeah, some weird. It does some weird stuff with that. It's really funny. Okay, Shire, the dragon caught our haggard side army, and now we're in trouble. He's feasting. What do I have at Rally of Legions? Do I have anything good? Nope. Oh, I can get some warlocks, dude. You better watch out. I don't like the sound of that. I know. With zero tech and support for them, I'm basically done. Your, I got nothing else going on. Your favorite. Got nothing else going on here, man. Level ups for me. I'm curious to see if the army will reappear. Like which ones will of that uh, of that core force? Uh, uh, what do I like more? You like gold, dude. You're Smaug. Of course, it's, it's got to be gold. Oh, yeah. You're right. Smog would just sit on his dragon sword all day, just raising all these cities. Okay, we got that next turn. It's a safe battle. Also, uh, the wolf and his retinue escapes successfully. You think it indicated your allies being wiped on the retreat foot icon for yours? Pretty sure they made it out. Yeah, we'll see. Should be interesting. I think they can. There's a chance to scatter too, though. Like they run, they get away, but they scatter and then don't rejoin your army. So that that for sure is uh, is a possibility. Also, uh, not a bad idea. I think we could just use these guys. Going to have to focus on uh, mana pretty hard though. Bones up here, up to no good. City has fallen. Can annex another city, but I think we're legit trapped in there now, so it's not going to happen. Uh, yeah. Let's get you leveled up. Looks good. 
Haven't seen them come back to the city quite yet. Research in time. Sing the knighthood. Nothing here is really good. And uh, yes, it's a nice one. It's a cool looking helmet. Which one is? It's one that just spawned on this gobble. Hmm. Yeah. Reveler's heart. I'm gonna take three turns for that. All right, let's try it out. Everyone looks pretty happy here. Smog the destroyer. He's up to no good. Coming here for a little bit of e experience. <laughs> that was a twist. Which which part was the twist? You're a e. <laughs> we were thinking. I thought you were gonna say Evo. The evil will come. The halflings will get desperate at some point, and then the evil will come. Okay, so nothing returned yet. Nothing's here at the moment. Ledron, don't forget about changing the... Yes! I'll tell you something about a Dawn of War monster. Yeah, I know that's got to happen. What did you want me to change it to? Let me scroll up here. Okay. We'll do that for you. Looking good. Oh, we can't queue it up at the moment because Bone's not done. He's, he's still doing his thing. Okay. I, I'm not fighting or nothing. Right, should right. Be, I, I, I had passed turn though, so it was... Oh, you can you can click in turn again. Can they beat beat that? Good. Okay, looks good. Free city has declared war on me. Oh. Smog lurks. The desolator in the north. God. Yeah, we're behind for sure, but not you know still have some decent chances. I think it depends on how good Pwn's tech is too. I don't know how good his tech is. That's a that's a big variable for sure. Integration there is for sure on the table. Okay, let's take this, get some experience. Gotta get that sweet, sweet experience, guys. Pick a new tome. Okay, so what do we wanna do here? Probably this for now. Yes, good. All right, so that's a couple units. That's pretty nice. I think they might have nerfed that one. I'm not sure. Okay, Defender. That looks like it's coming along. We see Smog the Destroyer just being evil. A big evil dragon up there. My poor Free City, probably not long for this world. Yeah, I don't think any of the guys came back from the, uh, from the, uh, from the situation, unfortunately. Unless it's still waiting. Yeah, I don't know how long. I've actually never like experienced that myself. Okay, perfect. So you come and do this. That should be done in time. This gives us instant healing and hero rank. That helps with his vassals, population growth. Completing a province annexation summons an animal unit. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think that really carries too much weight for us at the moment though. All right, Scholar's Guild, Stone Walls. We're not doing any spell jammers, so I'm not going to build a Sanctuary, which is unfortunate, because... I kind of just want to take this Frogman. You're going to take the Frogman down, dude? Frogman! No, recruit him to my side. Yeah. The, tra yeah, the, the I'll, traitor's I'll frog. Pass. Smog's Destroyer Army is on the way. All right, I think I'm good for the turn. It takes a couple turns. Yeah, we'll see. We will see if we get the goods back. Tuckborough is looking uh, a little bit endangered over there. Staff Radiance, bring your protection, an artifact for the faith. It's a freedom, will give you very swift immunity. Let's take the money. Money, money, money. Hey, some units came back, that's nice. Oh, okay, interesting. So it seems like the resurgence worked out relatively well. We actually got a fair amount of units left. So next turn we do that, and then we marshal to the north. <laughs> I just hear like halflings yelling, like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, just sounds that you don't want to be hearing. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so that's a fair amount of power. Can we get to any of them except this? I guess we can hit this guy. Yeah. 
Be gone, fiends. Let's get that good. Hopefully that'll put us up to another tier of good. And we would need to fight this the next turn. Interesting. The poor vassal city not looking too happy here. Negotiation succeeded. We do have this one down here and this one also. So let's do this and give you the Whispering Stone. Great. Opponent is pillaging my, uh, my, my homies here. So yeah, look at that. We, it ended up working out relatively okay in that regard. Don't have a lot of good upgrades for them though, which kind of sucks. So our damage is pretty crap. Gonna be playing some Halfling Hero Hammer here. <laughs> we are very evil. I'm not surprised to hear it. I would have expected nothing less from you. Nothing makes you ramp up an evilness like raiding. I know. This is the first time I lost a unit in an auto. It's fine, we're just gonna take it. Oh wow, what does that do? Holy shit, that's an interesting item. All right, let's do this. A little transformation. Then we can do the... Um, this go any lower, can I? You don't think what can go any lower? Turns. Okay, then you come out. Go oh, there. Look at that. Tucked in the back. Pwn sieging my my poor vassal city here. New research. Let's refresh that, see what else we can find. Eh, it's not very good, it's a siege project. Hmm. Signet of Knighthood wouldn't be bad, actually. Yeah, that would give some nice uh, buffs to all of our non-units non, uh, non -units here. Demoralizing Mask. Melee attackers have a chance of gaining despair. Crown is probably good. And let's give you the wand. Actually, we should probably keep magic that. Magic missile. You shooting magic missiles at things? So, you say you watched the first episode of One Punch Man? Yeah, it had the had the crab guy, and then the uh, the the uh, the vaccine man. I think was the other one. Yeah, I did. I did watch it. Yeah, but you do you remember his dream of who he was fighting? Yeah, the start? the under the underdweller guys, like the subject. Mole Man. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty close to Mole Man for sure. It's definitely in the ballpark. Okay, so we got him that, and then you can get... Is there any nice upgrades here? We got to upgrade you. Looks good. And let's get you some eagle eyes for that. And you got a couple levels too. You're a battle mage guy. Probably wouldn't be terrible to just grab something like this. What does that do? I don't hate that. All right, pretty good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, uh, good item I got. It's certainly not bad. What'd you think of the first episode? It was fun. It was fun. You know, it's it's not my cup of tea, but I I can see why it's enjoyable. You know, hundred percent. He hates. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Will you be watching more? Yeah, well, I'm going to finish. I The deal was to watch the whole show, wasn't it? So Right. Well, at least the first season. If you, I wouldn't ask you to watch the second season if you don't. <laughs> you wouldn't make me suffer that much, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's... That is convenient. Okay, let's grab you. Hurry that recruitment. All right. So the team is all back together. Pwn Siegen, he's gonna most likely get it next turn. Um, I think, yeah, that would be way nicer to get, but I don't know if we have time for all this, for all these shenanigans of sorts. All right. You just hang out in the city, keep building up our defenses. The Shire is, uh, is besieged on all sides. I mean, it's not my city, but it's still my beloved vassal who we've been friends with. <laughs> Frenzied Old hobbits. Vassal. 
Can we not seek counsel? <laughs> I know, my poor vassal, dude. All right, so what do we got here? Yeah. Slap that down. Give it a little something something, and then we need to get this. Hey, hey. And by the way, if we want to have like a fight or something, let's, we could just, if you're down, we could just have like a gentleman's agreement to let them muster our full armies. Like if like you're moving three armies, I'm not going to like just pounce and attack while the you haven't selected the third one yet. If you're down for that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, sure. We, I mean, we could do that. Uh, Although I think, I think I have the advantage at the moment. You do. hundred percent. No, oh, because sometimes uh, in this I, game, what happens is you'll be like, each of us will have three armies, and you know the, like you can attack before they get the third oh, army moving. Yeah. I see. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you're definitely. Yeah, you're definitely. Like, I would. I would not uh, try and pull that sneaky one. On this I, I know. It's just. It's just we, we we have a lot of good gentleman agreements going here. We do. Okay, so let's get you all set up. It's looking good. That's looking good. Here's Smog. He's got a he's got a Slither monster beast. Hello. Hmm. Spells ready to launch. Completing. Probably could honestly just like grab this one down here. I don't see what tech we have. Um. And no, that's not bad. Could grab that. Um, is there any other like useful tech here? Vassals gain a little bit of tribute. Could it, yeah, we can't incorporate them yet. Let's increase that. And then we can also do instantly gain a little bit of this. Wouldn't be terrible by any stretch. And I don't know if there's much else we'd want to do here. The Hobbit's coming. It's here. The fight will be on soon. We'll do this one too. Get everyone topped off. Uh, it's gonna probably spawn some AI armies there. It depends on what Pwn decides to do with it. Let's see. Oh, did he just, did you just take that city over? No, it's still meeting your justice, right? Or meeting your uh, your decision? Yep. It's kind of hard to tell. And you just got it this turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. Go forth, my Shire folk, and prosper. Okay, so he decided to vassalize it, which is fine. Maybe he's going to attack here. We'll have to find out. Uh, could throw in something else, or he could just flee and let me just go auto resolve, smash them. Hmm. Little blacksmith action here. Smog is pulled back. Raiding sucks because we're devotees of good. So the problem with that is that we lose good stature, which is not what we want. So I think we just hang tight for now. And just get some tech, because I feel like we might have better knowledge. I'm not sure. Although maybe after he's taken some of these cities, it's hard to tell. Okay, so those down there are chilling. The Shire, you're like scouring the Shire, dude. I came to burn down the Shire. So. You're you're achieving that goal, it looks like. Burn all the cities. Are you burning through the witches, dude? Alright, let's get the market. And uh, we did lose some collection there. Okay. It is time, Pwn. Let there be a reckoning. Smog might pull back. I'm not sure what his ultimate scheme is. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, they are, they are also going to implement, or they're looking at ways to... Uh harsher penalties for going over the hero cap which i think is good yeah 
I think that's cool. Yeah, because some really strong builds revolve around just spamming heroes early and just not, not really caring about the cap. Yep. Yeah, so I think that's a nice change. Yeah, there we go. All right. Suppress these rumors. What is this? Investigate. Got other stuff going on. Got bigger uh, dragons to fry. Uh, we can go ahead and get the... Yes. Got some spooky heroes. Yeah, that's what I... I have good heroes. I think the armies are pretty similar in strength. It's hard to say. Okay, do we want to try and take the city back? Are we just going to have like a tug of war over the city? That's probably really good. So I think we wait for that. That one's really strong. Yeah, we're a little we're a little poor right now because we had to muster armies to fight them, you know. So it's like we had to. Before I was kind of free balling it because <laughs> we're free, free balling. Okay, anything I want to make here? Not quite. A couple buildings in reserve. We can ca probably cancel those and then slap this down. Pump that unit out for the next turn. Okay. Smog has gathered on my borders. I think we're going to have a duel next turn. I'll most likely come out and fight you, by the way. Um, if you if you do stay there. I wouldn't mind fighting you in your city. I don't want that. <laughs> You're going to get some like like weird siege attacking shit that's just like nasty, you know? All right, that's good. So I could stand together to all my units that don't normally have it. So let me know when you get all your armies in position because I don't want to just like attack you and karate chop like two of your armies. That would just be stupid. You don't have any walls here? No, I haven't had any need for them. <laughs> so you could just attack, right, with the armies? Yeah, I can attack. Go for it, yeah. Let's do it. Well, oh. if you look at the power scale. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, yeah, my heroes are jacked, so it's. It says I am at quite the distance. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is, for you, is even if you lose this, it's not game over, right? Whereas so, I, yeah. if I lose it, you're basically just going to raise my second city that's really developed, and I just pretty much am dead. Bilbo Baggins. So what kind of breath do you have? You got a fire breath? Okay. So the dragon breath of doom. You still got to move through my barricades though, eh? Okay. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Bilbo Baggins will bravely hide in the back. You know, that's how it rolls. Respectably. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Little hobbits gleaming with unholy light. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the whole... My, my, I'm playing, like, a good build. It's, it's very much, like, good focused. All my units are, like, scurrying through the city. This is a huge battlefield, dude. You know? It's crazy big. Yeah, it is pretty wide. Yeah. It's... Different. Um, what does this do? The healing aspect of the root, yeah. Burn the Shire. Are you trying to scour the Shire right now? It, it looks like you're defending Lake Town. <laughs> yeah, I'm defending. The, it, it's like after Saruman had given the business to the Shire, basically. Yeah. So in the books, there's um, it's not in the movies, but they have a, a glimpse of it in the movie when. Yeah, that scene. Yeah, yeah. So that was my other I, thought for today. That was my other thought was to do that that kind of situation. We got frenzied halflings, dude. They're being denied their breakfast. So, you know that's a uh, that's a no go zone there. Yeah, you got to be careful. Potatoes, dude. I'm gonna bo I'm gonna boil that dragon, mash him, and put him in a stew, dude. Look at Smog, all smug with his 170 HP. Oh, and you have an amulet of vitality. Oh, jacked. <laughs> Absolutely jacked. 
I just have to fan out next turn so he doesn't get me with a big breath attack, you know? That would be that would be like the worst thing ever if like that, that whole core core army there just got smashed by a breath attack. <laughs> Smog is employing Sharky. No, today it's it's um yeah, we could do Saruman versus Frodo. We've already done a fair amount of Lord of the Rings stuff though, for sure. Um man, I don't have I got some damage. I would say the majority of our stuff has been Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah, yeah, I would say well, so. Like, at least for the streams. We have our custom characters and stuff, Duke, get out. and. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun. Turin Wolfheart gave me the business. No, I think you beat that one, actually, right? Oh, did I win the one? I yeah, don't see, know. See, there's been so many, we can't remember. Yeah. But I... That was not... You have one. Scalds. I have, I do have a skull. Yeah. It was that the tier three or no? You got the autumn three. Yeah. How did you get that skull? How did I? I, I have tomb of revelry, dude. The halflings are all about feasting and celebrating. <laughs> it's like it's if it weren't for them being a fiend unit, it would be like super accurate. I thought you would have went more down the line of the uh... nature, like animals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, well, I could see animals, but I, I was just thinking the. The seductress person who am I trying yeah, to Yeah, the nymph. I thought about it. Nymph, yeah. I just don't like the I don't like the unit too much, so. Really? I yeah, it. it's really good. I just I like the revelry stuff. I think it's really fun. Um, alright, so let's do this. The most evil Bilbo I've ever seen. <laughs> Bilbo slaying. He, he's not that evil. Come on now. Slayings! <laughs> he's really not that evil. Let's be, let's be fair here. All right. The dragon cometh. We're just consolidating, getting our archers in position, then it's time to party. Don't forget about your third army all the way down there, by the way. Uh, I have. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. If, I, I, I forgot that. about them. The screen, the screen for this battlefield is so massive. What was the power difference of these two armies, by the way? Oh, like a thousand. What? Yeah, I, I, I was like two thousand something strength, and you're you're like three thousand. Oh my god, man! He has green skin and glowing I'm, eyes. I'm de yeah. Definitely scared. Well, to be fair, the green skin and glowing eyes is because they're attuned with nature. So it's it's not like it's like some evil Nurgle rot. All right, <laughs> Bilbo Shag and the dragon. Look at Bone going for the the goon over here. He's finding my isolated unit. The goblins swarm. They do. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, dun. It's got that like sweet battle music going, dude. The <laughs> Bilbo Stabbins? Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that one before. That's pretty good. All right, Pwn summoning some things, some Dread Spider Hatchlings. From his, uh, from his Alvar the Spearhead, his little goblin guy back there. He's moving. I'll put it on normal game speed so the battle looks a little bit better. Yeah, uh, we could put on the. N no, we'll I put on the um, two play No, back. put it on max for your turn. I'm just saying when I'm okay. when I'm watching you, I'm just going to put it on normal. But for my turn, it'll be max speed. Missed ball. Did you just throw a javelin at me with that sunder? Tried. Damn, dude. You guys see him? He's out of control here. Okay, looks like he's buffing his blob with the uh, with the the skull so he can just teleport, fly at me. Yeah, hopefully we'll be the Trixie Hobbitses, and not the feast for the Dragon King here. You know, that's that's what we got to watch out for. Ooh, this cool spirit wolf thing. Is that one of your actual units, that lizard thing? Yeah, that slither? Yeah, slither. Oh, okay, so that's the ranged attack guy, yeah. The big damage. Uh-oh, Smaug is, Smaug is looking to get aggressive. I really wish I had some nice AoE magic, just like his blob of like shitty tier one units there. I'm like, oh. All right, hey, look at that. A little bit of, a little bit of a, Comet. So you went with the Comet Breath Attack. Did you? Yes. Yeah. So Spider's attacking. So he just got that Breath Attack on my blob there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Oh. 
So what does that do? Oh, that's nice. Spider hatchling, which must have been a summon, I would wager. <laughs> if the dragons were tasty, hobbits would already eat them. I mean, yeah, I think the hobbits would have some qualms with eating a like dragon, probably. Not like for any moral reason, but just because it's like, oh, I, they would be like probably... Yeah, I don't think that would be in their like diet. Yeah, I guess they do rabbits and, you know, a lot of the traditional fare of, uh, of, of all ye old England. All right. So nastiness from Pwn. He's got a big blob. Quite good indeed. This guy can put some hurt down. Well, the Autumn Fairy has got some serious, serious punch. Yeah, it's an evoker, so it, it like, legend. Oh, look at that damage. It's pretty good, isn't it? All right, so next up, what we do is we bash this guy. I need to go pee. Dude, I'm just, your whole army is going to be gone when you get back. I hope you know. Spider's down for the count. Could do this. I think that's actually a good idea. So we dive in like this, guys, and then we do Mark of Invulnerability, and we can probably get the kill on it, to be honest. Uh huh. Uh, can we reach there? I think we can. So that's going to give Hastened and a bunch of good buffs, and we'll do this, and that'll pretty much counter the entire Dragon Breath. See, we're healed back up to full now. All right, so you can come over here and blast that Reptile Beast. Is there anything else we want to do here? Yeah, we wanted to pull you away. Do this, and then we could do a little bit of healing if we want to. Yeah, why not? So I think we keep moving up this way with our main core. Yes, go my gremlins. We got a little bit of archer fire on that knight there. All right. Yeah, I'm not like, there's not too many other spells I'm looking to do here, so. Yeah, so we have to move there to zap him. It really isn't that good. We could do a little bit of a wand of freezing action. Could be worse. Whoa, fat crits, bam, bam. Yeah, we got some. We got some fat crits there. All right, so let's just do the bro charge here. Nice. Right out and kill them. Trying to, dude. This guy's like surprisingly uh, hardy here. You back there. This guy has so many abilities, it's nuts. Not easy being a support hero. I know, I'm like looking at all these things, I'm like, damn dude, they've, they've just got a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, so let's do this. Take down the snake beast. What the hell is that? Well, that was a terrible teleportation to try and... <laughs> what is that even? Called slippery ability. So I have to kill it twice, battle. basically? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, he doesn't fully heal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we can mark this it guy. If would have teleported backwards, that would have been fantastic. Yeah, that would have been the play, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and mark you with this. Pull you back like so. To see how fast Pwn's guys are. Yeah, they're pretty damn quick. They got they got some wheels on them. <laughs> Thunder defenses, my lord. Put this on homeboy. So we killed a unit, which is cool. You know, it's better than nothing, that's for sure. Um, do we have any summons we want to do here? Doesn't look like it. You we could do... Man, what's the range on that? Okay, that's pretty bonkers. The dreaded summoning of the undead. Classic Bilbo. Yeah. <laughs> Bilbo's down to party. Knights are here. Got those guys doing their thing. Pwn's army's down there. Yeah, you guys are all hanging out. Spirit Wolf could get a little crazy. What abilities does it have on it? And that's actually got some good stuff. 
You know what? Let's uh, let's go start working on the big man. Look at that. Damage is damage, man. The dreaded nine damage coming at you. Could do this, but that's kind of pointless. Have you ready to kind of do some sneakiness back there? All right. See what Pone's got. Yeah, summoning Barrow Whites. It's it's he found the Barrow Whites and he brought them to the battle. We we can find a lore explanation for everything here. I think. I don't know if that qualifies. You just you just. <laughs> now it's time for Smog the Magnificent and his his goblins are going to pour over my lines like the salmon of Capistrano look at the dreaded dragon dude do you think Smog will fare better than Deathwing or is he like sweating bullets right now I think sm Smog can be okay yeah he's good nice fire elemental summon very good Really clutch Skjald buffs. Both of us dropped. was no Skjald buff. What was it? What was that? Oh, that was your uh, War Shaman. Yes. Yeah. Looking good to me, man. Maybe if we had a water. Yeah. Cannot be affected, huh? Which guy? My, my character? Your hero. <laughs> oh, you used the invincibility. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is he not <laughs> able to be hit by this ability? I knew you would have uh, be excited to kill him with him over there, so had to had to do a little something something. He's pretty tanky as well. I think he's got 125 HP. Not like super insane, but your dragon hits hard though, man. I'm like looking at his attacks. I don't have on him. Yeah, he's got some got some nice buffs. So your dragon is a materium guy, huh? At his core? Yeah. Yeah. He is indeed. He is of the materium tribe. I don't know what that was, but Pwn did something at a miss. Smog was literally waiting and relishing the return of Sauron. Yeah, this makes sense. Sauron would probably be like, yeah, dude, you can, as long as you just eviscerate this army with your fire, you can chill in the mountain with all your gold. Yeah, that I would imagine that's kind of the jam there. The revenge of the Shire, dude. It's pretty convenient that, like, all those units I, uh, like, got away earlier, the ones who got caught in that bad battle. It's interesting. I didn't think that would be the case. Okay, what does this do? Target with low morale has an instant chance of dying. Wow. Pwn getting in there with the old spider hatchlings. All right. We haven't seen... Did we see Smog do his claw? He did. You clawed the wolf, yeah? Uh, no. Smog has done nothing yet. You have the tail swipe too, right? Yeah. Smog with the dreaded tactical retreat. I like it. Respect it. Get some heals on that boy. Our summons are gonna duke it out. What is that thing? That's a a vampire spider matriarch. That's not a summon, right? That's like one of your core units. Yes. <laughs> and the keeper's mark. Yes. So what else have we got? Heal. You have keeper's mark too. I do. Oh my gosh. Holy halflings. Not all my units have it. I'm, a, I'm like holy nature with like a taste of chaos, but holy in nature is my primary combo. The only chaos I have is the skills, so. Hone moving in with his, his dreaded goblin legions surrounding me. He's got that flanking army in the south there. A little bit scary for sure. I think I moved everything. Yeah. Is it time for a reckoning? It's a, yeah, let's see your you do you. I don't know what I what I got here. That spider matrix definitely gonna die. <laughs> hmm. So the wolfo probably would like a little bit. Yeah. So I think we can do this. Let me see what the aura looks like on this. 
Okay, so it'll definitely hit like anything in that radius. All right, that looks fine. Um, okay, so we do this, can mark it, Let's nail down these goblins for now, since they're a little bit more of an issue. Do we have any buffs? Not quite yet. Oh yeah, the spider hatchling. Give me that morale. Hmm. Okay, let's mount that. I think we can go over here. The wolf is gonna do a little bit of damage there, but I do have to worry about retaliation. All right, Skull, do you have any buffs up? We do. Fortune and Strength. Let's pop Sprint. Pull back here. Make sure we're facing the right direction. Drop Fat Heels on you. Got a little support, too, on those guys. Only until that's off cooldown two turns. Okay. Do a little bit of bashing of the spider here on the far side. Pretty disappointed with that guy's damage. Hasn't been amazing. Mm. Zap it with some lasers. Let's get the defender to go finish that. All right, tanky, tanky. Got the mending touch on you. The big scheming is un underway. So for homeboy, could go up here and then we have the wand. So we need to move like one more tile for that to be functional. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess these guys can loop around here and do the screen there. All righty, so let's do this. Pop this right here. Give them the nice goodies. It's base them, I feel like I'm playing Blood Bowl sometimes here. It's so like trying to get basing on your guys. And my archers do not hit well though. They hit pretty soft. Yeah, see, like attacking you doesn't even feel worth it. Your guys just hit so much harder than mine. Okay, bash these goblins down there. And now we have some rear attacks. Start working down you old goblins. Critical hit. All right, Glade Runner time. Ooh, we have so many guys to shoot with. Ah, Dragon's actually a little bit lower, the fledgling halfling. I should have attacked that, that was a mistake. Well, I guess we'll just commit. We're already committed to trying to pop that guy. Oh, I forgot stand together, curses. Yeah, not used to playing feudal guys, bear with me. All right, so we got that. So what does this do? Transform on into tier one. Okay, that's interesting. Could go for the KO there. Heal you up. And done turn. All right, let's see what Smog can conjure. Yeah, I have Overwhelm Tactics. No, wait, do I? No, I don't have Overwhelm Tactics. I should have gone for it, but I went for like more Halfling flavor. I have the uh, the ranged resistance, which helps me like zero against bone. Um, and then I have the adaptable trait, so my units level up faster. I've always liked that one a lot. He's going to Zerg my, my poor units on the bottom, that poor little defender. Look at him. Okay, he just got some strengthened kind of berserk thing, so he's gonna get sauced here. He's bashing him. 
Yeah, you want to use it on a tier three unit, correct, which is what I'm going to save it for. So I don't know if Pwn has too many tier three units. Nope. Yeah. It's, uh, his army is mostly like kind of jank, like using the, the swarming tactics. Pwn going for the claw on the spirit wolf. Was that a... Oh, you have your breath attack off cooldown, huh? Nope. What was that? Oh, that was Fury of the Horde. Okay, so it looks like it did get nerfed, because... Well, I guess you don't have a nope. ton of tier 1. Wasn't Fury of the Horde either. Blaze of the Horde is what I meant, right? No. It was oh, it was the Fire down. Elemental. Got it. Yeah. It all kind of looks very similar, so... Hmm... Yeah, I love the hero level up things or the faster experience for your for your people. <laughs> Did you see the dreaded steadfast on that guy? Oh, I knew you had casted it. Yeah, you saw it. The boy was watching. Oh, you just got insanity, huh? Hoping that defender just like straight up attacks one of your guys. He he might. Smog the Magnificent, preparing. Oh, the breath. Breath attack of the gods. So we'll definitely pop this on the Wolfman. Anguish Spirit could just instant KO that. The Barbarian smash upon our walls. This be a big smog here. Go normal speed so you guys can see that. How you guys all doing, by the way? What do you feel like watching tomorrow? You guys want a Total War tournament? Age of Empires. Got some fun stuff. I'm thinking of hosting a Total War event tomorrow. Pwn bashing through my front. Doing some pretty respectable damage. The, the epic 2v2 tournament? Yeah. Oh, man. If only we had dedicated server. What are the chums that are being played? I'm doing Holy Nature. With a splash of like one chaos tome just for halflings so they can drink and party. And uh, Pone is going barbarian. So he's nature uh, nature and chaos for the uh, Tome of Dragons, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right? Yeah, but I'm more I'm more into Materium than I am uh, Got it. Uh, nature. Understood, yeah. Yeah, because he has a Materium dragon. Ethan, you want more Age of Wonders? Yeah. Age of Wonders is great. It's fun. It's very fun. Don't do it, is what you want to Nothing do. Nothing feels great. I do always love putting the fear of God into you, but... You gonna demoralize me, dude? No. I can't. You have, keep, you have OP Keeper's Mark. Uh, demoralizing. I mean, just lowering leadership. Keeper's Mark doesn't affect all your units, so I think it's only your frontliners. Like, I don't think any of my archers have it. Let me check. Yeah, they don't have it. It's it's literally just the the the, the tanks, the fighters, and the your your hero. No, heroes don't have it. You can sign heroes. Op. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> you gotta expect if I'm opening with Tomb of Faith, going holy, gonna have that. Mm. I didn't know you were opening with Tomb of Faith. Oh, I did say it on the stream in the beginning, <laughs> but maybe maybe you were focused. If he snipes Bilbo, I'm gonna be so sad. You guys have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish I could do more. I do. Oh, bro, I would cry tears if Bilbo just got karate chopped right now. Like, oh, uh, I I knew it was risky moving up, but I wanted to get the heal on the wolf. But yeah. Oh, the fire damage on the tree there is pretty clutch. All right, so now it's time to run Bilbo to the back corner. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the insane guys came to protect him. <laughs> oh my god, you had me sweating some serious bullets there, dude. Alright, so let's move up here. It will all be clear in a second. Yes. It will all be over soon. I don't know, hopefully not, dude. I'm going to have to give steadfast to my silly halflings here. 
Man, you diving back here definitely had me sweating, dude. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I was like, I thought you had more. I was like, oh god, like, what have I done? <laughs> no. Yeah, you know who's you know who's gonna run to the back and just heal now is is your boy Bilbo Baggins here. All right. So now that that like absolute stressful moment has passed, I think we're okay. Uh, Pone's got some units coming from the south here. But a little bit of hurting to you. Be gone, filthy goblins. Okay, leadership's got to be a little rough for him now. What does this do? This is uh, healing sap. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually. Here we go. Okay, the wolf appears to be stunned, which is all good. All right. I think it has a chance of insta-killing a low morale unit, 40%. That's no, actually kind of funny, but I don't know if that's worth. Um, all right. Hold the line could be pretty good right there, but I think we just keep playing on the side of, erring on the side of caution. He's going to start fumbling a little bit now, too. Man, that actually hit surprisingly hard. Try and blast your boy Smog. You might get insanity procs. We did. Nice. Nice. Lightning. And uh, now we can go ahead and give you Steadfast again with the Lord. Go ahead and summon an elemental. Oh, do we have the flame strike of doom? We do. Ho ho ho. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and uh, this wand has a little bit of a range issue here, I suppose. Zap him with some lightning. Glade Runner could move up. Yeah, it's not a bad spot actually to just kind of like get cozy in here. Bannerman can go. Is this mending touch? Yeah, it is. Go defensive mode. Now we have some options for spells. He's done his thing. We could just do this. I think we have steadfast on the appropriate units. So let's just do Wrath of the Faithful and pop that guy in the face. Bannerman, it's under some defenses. And uh, for you, I'm going to take a little bit of retaliation damage. So we just go defensive mode here. All right, end turn. <laughs> Smog just going bananas there on the Magma Spirit. Yeah, that sucks having Smog. Uh, yeah, go, go south on you. Yeah, my tier three tomb combo that I'm going for is it's Tomb of Cycles um, to buff my archers and then the Sanctuary. What do we got? Defenders in good shape. Also, uh, that's nice, Johnny. Yeah. That's nice. I need to give them like the names of all the fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw you, Magma Man. Yeah, I know he really is. He's getting in there, dude. So yes, the fact that summons disappear is pretty big. Like, my little tormented soul is gone now. Um, whereas before, you know, that would have been uh, that would have been a different beast. Hey, Potato, welcome back to the stream, dude. We're fighting a pwn. Pushed pretty deep into my lands. Killed one of my really solid vassals. Um, and now he's attacking me basically at my city. One of my second city. Um, which I could... Yeah, I, mean, I think at this point we're in good shape, but obviously he's going to be able to go back to his dragon's cave and rebuild and everything. So These choke points are pretty helpful for me too, I must admit. Like the city layout. 
Yeah, you, you, you think the open field would have? I don't know. I it's hard to it say. Good. I, I it's really hard to say. Oh damn! Yes, the aspect of the root. Okay. Got the spirit wolf. Yeah, the spirit wolf has resurgence. That's right. So even if this thing dies, we get it back afterwards, which is really nice. Bilbo's just gonna roll up on Smog and just steal his steal his treasure, dude. It's happening. <laughs> Not like this. Okay. What does that do? Explosive phase, yeah. So his leadership's really low. It's pretty close to a route. If we just pop a couple more units, I think it's a it'll be a route. Yeah, it's been a good stream for sure. A lot of auto resolves on my part though. Pwn fought most of the battles because um, he's playing Materium, so or Barbarian, excuse me. But Barbarian has to usually fight a lot because the uh, units are squishy early on. I think Feudal has good autos. I was just using Smog in the battles, trying to power level. So without your the rest of your army though, right? Right. So you didn't have your units or anything with Smog? Correct. Does that give him more experience? It gives him all the experience. Is that really how that works? Damn, I didn't know that. News to me. All right. So how can we not lose anything here? Um, obviously, that little defender on the bottom is going to get karate chopped. Not a whole lot we can do about that. Wolf is ready to go. I feel like my camera got all screwed up here. Huh. We have the enfeebling howl. All right, so let's just go after this. Draconic Rage. Rage. Okay, so he's in yeah. He's in the red. As soon as they route, I can just auto, obviously. Um, all right, oh, that's pretty nice here. It's a nice bit of damage. From the Winter Fairy. Okay, let's do this, do this, um, get you up here, do the healing sap, debuff your boy Smog. It's a nice, Smog? nice. Smog? <laughs> Smog! All right, charge down here. Uh, Pwn streaming on his channel. Yeah, it's just Professor Pwn. You should be able to find it on the old, uh, the old YouTube. All right, so now it's go time to go have the duel with the dragon, the brave halfling. Brave, 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 Sir Robin. Yeah, let's move this. Um, Bilbo can move up. Just get ready to party next turn, just in case. Um, do we have anything we want to hit here? Yeah, we can hit you. Start blasting it. Some damage right there, damn. I don't even really have too many upgrades on the weapon department. Uh, my, ar my army is routing. Yeah, I'll just auto it here. The enemy is fleeing the field. Do you wish to... All right, so I'm just going to go auto. Get him, boys. Chase him down. Oh, man, look at that. That character, I forgot it had that ability. Smog is going to be in a little bit of danger. Magnet magnificent. They're all trying to get away. Might be able to get away. The AI isn't the best at sniping, but Smog should die for sure. And then he'll be back in, you know, two turns, give or take. Uh oh, dude. Oh, look at the heals. Stay alive. <laughs> With auto, you Smog might live. He might with auto, because the AI just like chases random shit and just. All right, can we calm down here? Jeez. It's like literally just kill the kill the one guy here. All right, knight, get him, kill him. Can we kill Smog? Should have. God, I keep forgetting the stand together thing, dude. So bronze Odia. Oh my God, he's alive with like one percent, bro. 
The fairy kills them, I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, back to business. So Smog has been banished from the Shire after doing a lot of work. Torched my main vassal um, and also took one of my cities in the north. But uh, took some took some time to push him back. Dude, the, the Hobbit heroes are pretty strong for sure. They are menaces that need to be stopped. Yeah. He's, but he's fleeing. I don't know how to just like end it now. I guess it'll just have to be auto full chase. Yeah, so they're autoing. It's going to spend my mana in wild ways. <laughs> yeah, we're moving. So I'm just going to turn off auto and then just end the turn. That'll be faster. Okay. This little warrior is going to try and flee the scene. And I think most of them got out. And turn again. The Shire, they, they got to go have their breakfast. They're, uh, yeah, Smog just... He just died, but he'll be back, I'm sure. Now I need to go reclaim the city that Pwn took from me and revassalize it. Or, you know, I'll probably just conquer it and make it my own. Okay, we actually didn't lose anything, so I suppose the, the value thing of the army was pretty accurate. I suppose it was. All right, so let's move up here. All right, we're looking at the main city. Does Smog have some unholy scheme to get back here? Not to get back up there. Alright, so you can hang here. Chill out. We can cancel this for now. And uh, let's just throw the bathhouse in there. Well, this is one way to get a city. We have Pwn's Hero that had some... Oh, some sweet items. Holy shit. Okay. Definitely going to take those. Give it back. I'm going to get another Lord slot here in a second once I get a third city. <laughs> Did you say give it back? Yeah. That's funny, dude. Man, I only got one level up from all that for real. Okay, so for you, Weaver. Pretty good. Okay, so our other hero we would get would just be an archer of some sort. I'm sure Smog is licking his wounds back at his capital. Oh, dude, one of my AI armies is raiding your lands. Do you see it? Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, I'm for sure going to take this city over. It's also of the same culture and race as my people, so... Might take a couple turns to get the auto, but we'll get there. Pwn to squash the, uh, the uprising there. Oh, hold on. Almost forgot my uh, tech. Did you just have some random bird flying around? <laughs> yeah, I got... It was like one of those random rewards. Yeah, I hear you. So, it became a scout. Tomb of Cycles, let's go! There is a cycle to all so, projectiles of decay is what we want. It's very good. All right, so we got the Rebels in Carnage. And uh, cool. All right, so we'll do that next turn. Should be ready to pop the Siege down on them. All done there. Oh, oh really? Interesting. <clears throat> All right, so we got to grab this back. Tuckbro can uh, can annex some stuff, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Let's see, did I forget any of the skills? I might have. No, oh, looks like we got all the skills placed. Free cities giving. That's actually pretty good. It's giving us a nice uh, little boost in knowledge there. Signature skill. Yes, that's what I forgot. So this guy's my caster. Um, probably honestly just these gonna be the way so he's all good you're all good there we're definitely gonna give it to yeah we don't have any other free cities to give it to at this point so let's see where the people aren't happy 
I don't know what Pwn's got going on. Probably not a whole lot for a couple turns, but he'll be back. Yeah, all, the, all the schemes right now. Yeah, I know. So North Peak is actually your city, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's going to be a couple turns so we can grab that. Smog should be in the void for a moment. Um, for a hot moment. When you raise a city, it creates a couple sacks of marauders, really. No. All right, so that's going down. Grab this. Okay. Good, looking good. Negotiations have succeeded. Any spells I want to cast? Um, not particularly. This one would be good, but it's so mana intensive. So mana intensive. We're just such beggars. We're also playing, um, for anybody just joining, we're playing no spell jammers and no magic victory. So it's more of like a grindy fight. Granted, neither of us are really close to you know a magic victory regardless, but... I'm no, just hunting one of your bird scouts down, don't mind me. Wow. I always yeah, have fight that. I always have you <laughs> wanted to fight that. It was like a knight versus a bird, you know. Alright. Let's see what the auto looks like. Maybe we lose a scout unit, I'm not sure. Probably not. If it's nothing serious, we can get it going. Outstanding. Wow, Bilbo almost died in that fight, jeez. Alright, outstanding. There's just like a giant ass baler over here. What is that? All right, great. Let's go ahead and get you to do that. We'll get a hero next turn to join the party. What if that was my giant ass baler? I I wouldn't, dude. Scared. We've all we're always disappointed with balers, dude. <laughs> I know? love balers. You like them? I've always been disappointed. I always feel like they're one of the worst tier five units, but. I could be wrong. I could be wrong for sure. You're a hater. I am a hater, dude. Oh, we actually have a governor for that city already. Great. Someone sent a war, war party after me? What? You guys see this? Pwn sending war parties after me and shit? Not I. Yeah, one of your, uh, one of your vassals did, I think. Halflings ride to war on their ponies. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know if I wanted to to do so or not. I guess I should, though. You should what? <clears throat> Reduce units here. Yeah. Oh, God. So Bilbo gains one population. We get production at Tuckboro. Or we take the Imperium, which I think I'm just going to take the Imperium straight up. All your cities instantly gain one population isn't terrible. You can slap that down. The Rite of Expansion, cool. Gives us even further press out here. I guess this city isn't big enough to uh, to sustain that. I thought you were gonna say for the both of us. Yeah. City ain't big enough for the both of us, Bone. Mm. All right, so that looks like that's the most efficient way. Bash them, my halflings, go. The war party is probably the Baylor. No, it's it's guarding a node. Yeah, 100%. Uh -huh. All right. Projectiles decay, pretty good. It's gonna make all those Glade Archers that much better. And we can pop that. Drop some of those fat goodies over there. Oh my God, all this, all this like place I just set up is all ruins from your dreaded raids, dude. You can hang out in the trees. Um, we could annex another province, but I'm pretty happy with this right now. Pop that, pop that. Killing momentum is really good. Hmm. What are you scheming, dude? Schemes. Yeah, I would imagine. Phone's up to no good. Ending touch, sanctify, target friendly, but force warden, feudal ruler. Jason units have a little bit of a buff. Undying loyalty is really good. Baylor really, yeah, the Baylors are kind of, to me, a me bit of a meme unit. 
for sure. They don't they don't seem that good. It's a nice developed city though. Could build the seeds, but doesn't really seem uh Yeah, we have one skeld, that's it. Just one. We're using mostly bannermen for our armies. The skelds are definitely better though. I should get more of them. Smog has been banished back to his keep for now, his his uh his lonely mountain over there. It says I'm actually why why am I it says that man, look at that. I guess I have the higher rank in everything but magic, and your magic is so so high, your magic ranking. I don't know how you're getting that, brother. I wonder if it has to do with how much mana I have. I think it does. Like you must be sitting on did you go for the dragon sword? So you probably have like five thousand mana, right? I have two thousand six hundred. You wanna you wanna send me some of that, dude? You need some? Yeah. Oh, well, let's start talking business. <laughs> what you got for me, dude? Okay, this is this is unfortunately not able to expand anymore. It's a quite a gridlock there. Yeah, bannermen are really good. Skelds are slightly better. I could have gone a different tone, but I just love revelry for the halflings. The idea of them just getting crunk and drinking and partying while they go after people is uh, is pretty pretty fun flavor. I'm all done here, by the way. I'm not done. No rush, dude. I just have to go reclaim my... It's rushing me! I have to go reclaim my lost cities that you banished, dude. The old conquest uh, moves along. Do we vassalize that? Probably not a bad idea to just slap it into a vassal city. Raising it to the ground is one thing, I guess, for money. Which wouldn't hurt. We're pretty damn poor, to be honest. We got these big, expensive armies. Druid of the Cycles are really cool. Restart so that it heals. If dead, it brings it back. Wow. That's really good. Oh, uh, my uh, all my guys who fleed just reappeared. Yeah, you got. I think you got like three units away. It takes five. Some, five units. Wow, so you basically got a full army back. Nice. Bag End is here. Tuckboro. The hands are doing good. They're doing good. AI coming to feed me some uh, some experience. Nice. Order some pizza. <laughs> you ordering some pizza right now? Yeah, I'm nice. hungry. I grow hungry. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get you in. Start the siege. Uh, do we need to add any siege projects? No, we don't. Could summon another something something. So you're pretty beat up. This army's pretty beat up too. So let's go ahead and drop an army heal right there. Army heal is really nice. Being able to just like heal your armies in the field when they're damaged is so useful for like staying aggressive. Alrighty. Looking solid. Convent coming up. Scholars Guilds. Castle. The next tier. Get a monolith, which is going to take like 500 turns. Oh, I got some good items here, potentially. We'll wait and see how it goes. Wolf, archers, defenders. Pwn's order ordering some pizza for the long gamer haul. We're gonna have a probably another battle this stream. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. The Shire is on the move. It certainly is. Angry bird monster down. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take the city down, then move on to this one, which is uh, one of Pone's other cities. I think those are his two cities. I don't think he's got more than that, unless he plopped one down in the corner and I didn't see it. Could be getting a little sneaky, sneaky, but we're not sure. Rush the product production on that. That's going to give us access to Hayesberries, which are occupied, unfortunately. Take the conduit there and uh, Corey. Nice. City's expanding outward. All right. So for gear for you, I don't know if Pone's done. I think he's on the phone. No, he's not. No. All right. So let's grab you. How long is it up here? Eight turns, and this is going to be eight turns also. Yeah, let's grab that. 
be cool to have one of those in the army. Target enemy unit. Hmm. It's actually a pretty cool spell. Okay, let's reorganize the armies. One turn until the old breach. Maybe save up for that. That's a really good one. Man, dude, I'm just I just need some money, dude. All this uh, conquest has been uh, expensive. Smog's back. He's back in business, yeah. Yes. Yes. You you glow most unholy, Mister Frodo. Mister Frodo has gotten the blessings of uh, of Gladriel. He's 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 in tune with his nature side. It's the Leafkin, um, which actually in PvP has some applications in like woods maps because you can become invisible in the trees, so your opponents can't like see where you're at, which is pretty nice. All right, let's bash the city down. Should be pretty easy here. We'll see what happens. If we lose something, it's fine. Lost one archer, really? Ooh, that's a bit of an annoying unit to replace. God, man. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to make you sit through that. So absorbing it is one thing. Let's absorb that. Oh, it just, it just karate chopped the baler there. Interesting. Get you in the mix. Get that research going, parting gifts. Till the end of battle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat indeed. Arcane. Produce merchandise. We need to stop making units. We can actually cut you because we're recruiting one a little bit further up. We have something building. We got Scholar's Guild there. Grab that. Let's build a Forester. It's just time. Gather the legions. So we'll strike when that is ready, although we could probably get you out first. Yeah, like some more of these guys in the front wouldn't be bad. All right. So Pwn sitting in Erebor, being a dragon man. Is he your only, uh, your only guy, the dragon? No, you had the goblin hero. That's right. I have a toad hero now. You have a toad hero? Dear God in heaven, dude. All right, so let's slap you in um, here. All right, so we haven't seen Pwn in a while. He's been he's been quite mysterious. Produce merchandise. Produce merch. We can cancel this. Let's see if we could build anything here. It's getting kind of tight. The money. State Hall's 170. What can we build here to make some money? I guess we can get a mint. Does that leave us anything to build here? Yeah. Sure, why not? We can throw some Palisade walls down. And producing merch is basically just gives you money for the turn. All right, so he's keeping tabs on things. Start a little bit of siege. Hmm. I'd like some money for a little something something. So what, 170 Gs? Yeah. As haggard as that is, I, I, I need some siege projects. Uh, undermining walls. Does that put it down to two turns? It does not. That does though. Mark it. Go, go. All right, so Smog's been pretty quiet, man. Well, I got to rebuild. Yeah. You, you have this triple doom stack coming. I do. Of doom. It's pretty it's pretty doomed, dude. No, thank you. I'm I'm fine. All right. So, this is a summon, is it not? It is. All right. So, all these are kind of nice. Enemies have a 90, all enemy units, buff and debuff spell. And then nature's a bouncy, all friendly units in the target province gain. 
Hmm. That actually seems like that could be pretty fun. Granted, this tech tree. You want some halfling berserkers, dude? Awaken the, the forest. Points. The forest is removed. An army of animals and plants under your control. So, and then I, hmm. It's interesting, guys. I don't know which one we want to go for here. They're both pretty fun. This is a, a sweet one, though. That's a really cool transformation. I think we got to do this because that's that's literally tree beard right there. So, tree beard. I'm a little bit financially strapped right now, guys. I am a little bit tight on money. All right, so it's gonna take a couple turns. We got you. Let's build the dreaded Lord's Manor. Yeah, paradise. But also, I wanted to get tree beard. And that thing looks most like very, very tree beard esque. So, all right, and then we can summon this to max out the army. Okay, knights keeping tabs. <laughs> Getting down with the stunas, yeah. All right, so let's raising is raising an evil act. It is. It's pretty annoying. My whole thing is devotees of good, so I can't necessarily do the evil. Oh, Lake Town's back here. All right. I think I think Erebor is his capital, though. All right, so you go hang here. Now let's get some buildings going down there. Market. Yes, yes. Let's try and be effective and make sure there's like something in every city going constantly. Efficiency. We got it, dude. You get another hero here in a minute once I uh, save up some more dough, my friends. So North Peak is ours. Smog is back in uh, Erebor. And the fact that we're not playing with Spelljammers today certainly makes the attack feel a lot more comfortable. Sell the ring. Dude, if I pulled... Imagine pulling the one ring magic card. Holy shit, man. Just, that's so nuts. What's the What's the highest bounty right now on that? On the magic card. Let me know when you're done, by the way. I'm just renaming characters. <laughs> Duke Samwise. Yes, we will do that. Doesn't really look like it. I could spend some time. All right. Yeah, whatever. Fine. It's kind of annoying. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, the, that other charm does seem pretty good, though, but summoning this bad boy is going to be a blast. You want Bilbo the roundhouse kick Smog? That's a tall order. Smog would definitely annihilate him in close quarters. Um, my guy's like more of a su support rat character in the back, which makes sense for uh, for your boy. Yeah, how much you pinch, bro? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's going. That's going. Just need something to build. Oh no, here he comes. The Shire is coming. Dude. Oh god, the hobbits descend from the hills. <laughs> they do. We're doomed. The hobbits come in, in numbers. Don't know how scary Smog, 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 Smog's forces are. Uh huh. All right. So we save some money up for that. Get another dude to join us soon. Uh, any Imperium stuff we want to do. Yeah, that's really good. The Astral one to give us some casting stuff. All right, so Pone does have the one city there, Erebor, which is probably where he's chilling. Uh-oh, we see him with his old Golem army and the Toadmaster. Pwn looks way stronger than he did earlier. You, it looks like you've certainly accelerated your uh, your power there. Yeah, I don't have a army of tier one guys now. I know. It's pretty scary. So he's got this army, this army, which is his reinforcing core with some golems, actually. Oh, wow. The artisanal uh, upgrades. Certainly pretty cool. All right. 
plague bearer is like the worst thing ever, dude. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to like keep it all in the flavor, but yeah, it's not trigger opportunity attacks. Distracting attacks have a ninety percent chance of infl inflicting distracted. All right, recruit you. We're gonna respec him. Got some choices to make here. Kind of want one more of these. Okay. I, I, I will ride out and meet you on the field of battle. Good. Here. I'm excited for it. Next turn. Lord of Crops. Yes. And then Archery, confirm. You always want to get sprint to get out of a bad situation. Archery. Defense. Let's get the restoration is always useful, especially for like archers sitting in the back, eagle eye, and uh, then we can get martial expertise. The bow. And great. Now let's get you set up there. Outstanding. Building, building. All the eco stuff's coming along well. And right on. We're going to get to see Pwn's Mighty Toad. So this will probably be the final showdown. If he manages to push me back, then the war will continue. But if I get him, I think he's probably done for. I love that my allies are just like going after all your stuff. Yes, he comes. All right, changed my hair to white. Nature boon, yeah, it's fine. We don't care about the growth too much. Oh, it's smog. It's the big man. All right, so awaken instincts, that's pretty funny, but I don't think that's what we want. So sieging the city doesn't, I'll let you get everything in position before I attack you. I'm not gonna cheese you. I'm ready, baby. You're good for it? Uh, is there anything we want to do here? Not really. What you see is what you got. I think all my armies are more or less in position. Is there anything you want to check before we battle? I'm looking. I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can do to help myself. So he's got he's got a skull, some golem. So he switched to a golem heavy army, which is pretty cool. The Shire Hero Squad is, I think, your biggest issue. I agree. Yeah, they're pretty scary. Those guys you got a lot of scariness. Pone's got a Mordor Toad here. <laughs> I think Blade Runners are awesome units. Yeah, I got I got two of them. Wish I had you more. Got a lot. Yeah. There's one in that army. There's two in that stack. You got three. Hey, the ba the battle balance is definitely better now for... I, I'm not over a thousand behind. No, you're only down by a couple hundred now. Because you don't have, like, the just the shitter, you know. Let's play the champion. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I could have got that. It's all right. All right. Now it's, time for, it's time for Pwn to consolidate his forces and push. So, guys, this is it. Do or die for Pwn, just like it was do or die for me earlier when he attacked me. He also has the transmuters now, which are the uh, cool casters. They, they apply stun and it does some... Does it do damage? I don't think so, but it looks like it, it does apply I've stun. I've never actually used the transmuter. I've always thought it was a pretty cool looking unit. I've just I've, never I've used heard... It yeah, same. I've heard like whispers that they're very strong. Oh, smog, dude. Look at him rolling up. They see him rolled and... We should have smog have a ceremonial duel with my halfling lancer guy. It's like the mighty halfling knight versus smog. You'll cheat. I will. Well, let's see. You can cheat too, you know. It's not just me who has spells and stuff. No, it's just you. I brought nothing. <laughs> yeah. Moving his I regret everything. Moving his tin boxes up. <laughs> it is time. Bilbo Baggins. All right, what the hell am I doing here? Okay, uh, yeah, that's right. I can't cast spells this turn. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I've I've read what it does about a million times. I just, uh, <laughs> or, or at least from the tome perspective, I've never actually recruited. It. Yeah, I think that's a legit a unit I've never used. Yes. So the stun does not do damage, but it it is an AOE. Hmm, okay. Fair and play. It's a ninety percent chance. That's pretty pretty good odds. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Oh. Okay. All right. So what else are we doing here, huh? So Bilbo, we do not want to lose the Lord of the Shire here. That would be really crappy. Hmm, we could do the dreaded spider egg summon, yes. Which one is this? Yeah, that's that guy. Okay. Well, the Ice Witch's Freeze does damage, though. It does. It does indeed do damage, my friend. What do you got there? back there? You got some old transmuters and stuff? Nice. And is there any other heals I want to apply? Uh, we could apply just to restore here. You've, you got me like all nervous earlier after you dove Bilbo that one time. I'm like, I'm super paranoid now. <laughs> oh, look at him sitting back there. Yeah, he's, oh, he's, no. he's definitely yeah. going to be staying in the back for the foreseeable future. I had to click him twice to get the true name. I know, it's kind of annoying how that goes. Hmm. Top it off. I think we're good. Treat yourself, man. Yeah, we got Bilbo Maybe. out here, dude. Yeah, he's here Maybe with his cane. Will. He's looking a little, like, freaky now, but he looked like Bilbo earlier before the, the great transformation of leaves. <laughs> Pwn's playing, uh, he's playing Smog. Now we get to see him do the strength and buff for his army, most likely. He finally got some higher tier units, he's Iron Golems. You got Blood Fury weapons, Artisan, so the the classic uh, critical strike. I don't think Golems can actually get like higher morale though. I think it just stays static. So that means they can't get the extra crit from high leadership. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, it's something something funky like that. Fight for your, your potato brothers over here in Ireland. Yeah. Trying. Ain't gonna be easy. Bone's got some scary berserkers now. See what that looks like. Yeah, rage on that's a little bit tricksy. Oh, the dragon. Here he comes. The dragon moves the dreaded one inch. This golem legion. So he's currently moving up his army, the Berserkers and the Golems. Okay, I don't hate it. Yeah, a little bit more of that. Some sneaky sneaky. What does this actually do, Bolstered? Oh, that's not bad. Smog is getting some buffs. Bolstering up the old stats. Looking like a big happy dragon. More buffs going down from Bara Ironheart. This pwns, uh, this is his second hero. It's a toad. I don't know if Smog would ever work with the toad, but you know. He was evil. The toad was evil? Is that why you took him? Yeah. Uh, the, the faction that like I got him from, the, the vassal, they were like already evil. Oh, okay. Fair play. So it just worked out great for everybody then. Yes, I was like, evil toad man, he must join me. <laughs> the most evil of all toads. Alright, so what are we doing here? So we got you to move up. This is going to take a couple. Mm, this wand of polymorph, which I guess is reasonably useful now against his army. That's not bad. I think we could take that. 
Don't know how jacked these golems are going to be. I feel like it's very much going to be like a wet noodle contest here. With the golems battling one another. Strengthen and fortune. Alright, so let's do this. Sauce them up. And now we got the Golem Legion on their way. Berserkers are in the trees looking to charge me. Hmm. Trixie, Trixie Hobbitses. First and foremost, pop this. Wow, that is, does like no damage whatsoever. Jeez. That charge right there. It does a little bit of damage also. All right, so let's move in, groove it. So I got to remember to do the stand together thing. That's something I always neglect to do. Don't do it. I literally forget it like every single time, dude. Get everybody in there. Let's do a little bit of this. Then, My cool transmuters? You're trying to wipe them out already? <laughs> trying to. It looks like you have multiple though. I want to use them. I think you're I think you're all good. Oh, oh, oh. Have right. I played around with any mods yet? Not yet. Uh there are several that I've like seen that seem interesting. I was about to, but then like I got the early access for this and I just kind of uh forgot about mods for a minute. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, so now we need to figure out the big schemes here. Smog is going to go bananas for sure. I think you just pass. Sure, yeah, just pass before half my army does its actions. Pa you would like that, just, wouldn't you? Just scheme appropriately. Yeah, I bet you would like that, dude. You dirty dog. I'm doing this for us. Okay, so Pone's got his berserkers and company. Forgot to do this, but that's all right. Eh, just shoot some random shit or whatever. You son of a bitch. We got you good there, dude. <laughs> I trusted you. Yeah, just the, the wet noodle contest in the front now. The dreaded seven damage attacks. Ho oh, ho ho, the big work. All right. Okay, so let's move this. I think homeboy's gonna move up. I'm so nervous with like Bilbo, dude. I'm just like, ever since that near death experience <laughs> he had, I'm just like, oh, no more. Okay, what do you got? Some berserkers back there and stuff? Yeah, cool. Does Gal do any buffs? Yeah, it did. All right, great. Getting in there and bashing smog just doesn't like feel great. Okay, looks like we're just out of range of that. Big smog. He is the big smog, dude. The magnificent. The dead. <laughs> he's in okay shape. The stanky. Yeah, he's he's fine. Don't you worry about it, my friend. It looks like he's in pretty good shape. I never thought he would die that way. Yeah. Same here, dude. How could this happen to me? Some hurt on the big man. Made my mistakes. I think we're safe here if we just move up like so. You're good. And he's dead. And that was the end of the road. <laughs> and that was Bilbo's last move. You got me sweating after that earlier play, dude. Good. Yeah. Ain't no joke. Working as intended. I think everybody's pretty much done. Let's go in defense. Yeah, his, ar his archers are, are going to be disgusting. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, I don't have to 
great spells. So. Yeah, my spells are not super impactful this one either. Decayed. <laughs> Feudal is basically just football. Yeah, that's true. Oh. The dreaded regeneration. What does that give you? Regeneration, strength, and... Oh, that's nice. Some good stuff there. Bone's getting all the gotta, sweet buffs off. Gotta make sure I... I do the buffs. I know, you don't want to forget those. Last uh, stream I caught was Delhi AoE Games a few weeks ago. Now I watch the stream all stay recover. Hey, hope you're feeling better, man. Hope you're feeling better, my friend. The Druid of the Cycle. Dude, look at you bonking the hell out of that guy, huh? Going for the freebies where you can. Oh, look at that. A little stun action, huh? So that was your transmuter thing, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So Pwn got a nice stun on me there. <laughs> he's back and he's pissed. You love that, dude. It's your favorite. This army of yours is definitely way harder to kill with all the, uh, all the, uh, what's it called? All the golems and stuff. It's it's a whole different beast. Oh, that thing shoots like some lightning too, huh? Those physical attacks. That's cool. That's pretty neat. The old berserker karate chop. They uh, they obviously have the ability to uh, circumvent death, if I'm not mistaken. We have steadfast, right? Berserker's rage. Yeah. Uh oh. Old Pwn's doing some damage here. Be able to sneak around and bash some of my archers. Uh huh. I'm gonna change the angle. Yeah, this is like how I think I had it before. Looking sideways. Yeah, we got the Keeper's Mark, but he's still getting some good damage in there. Much better than previously, for sure. Oh, big smog. That actually didn't do too much. I gotta read what these abilities do. Interesting, so that's a fat one right there. I don't know if it's worth it, per se. Getting the Bonk of the Gods. No returning bonk either. You're stunned. Yeah. That was a nice little combo for sure. Target cannot be affected. 66% chance. That's kind of interesting. Takes one action. And Do he passes. Your worst turn. Those are that was a really good turn. That, that one felt pretty strong. Um, I thought about that, but I, eh. You thought about the schemes? I'll goon, I'll goon it. That's if that's his move. All right, so let's see what options we have here. So that's like some wand action. This thing, unfortunately, is hanging out. Can make them have this. Yeah, it looks good. Knights can charge in, do a little bit of work. What kind of archers do you have, Furies? Oh, so you got the tier two archers, huh? So nice stun for sure. This, the choices of spells. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad either. Gonna have to try and slip away from these accursed golems here. All right, start summoning some dudes, shall we? So that's the wand. That's the summon. So let's go ahead and give this to you. Which I think will be pretty good. Yep. Then we can summon some beasties. It's undead? Is that all Frodo can summon? Is undead? Or Bilbo? Huh. What do we get? Now oh, we got some like ghostly unit. That's kind of nice. Not really any morale benefits there. 
Yeah, it's going to hit my entire army, which would not be good. An animal we can summon, or an Ellie, which I think might be good too. Just get some numbers out in the fields. Am I still alive? You're doing great, dude. Yeah, oh, you're, you're sitting pretty. I, that means I'm dead. I ain't falling for that. Yeah, I think you're doing good. It, it was a really nice uh, push. Oh, no. It's a really good push you had there. All right, so let's go after you. Yeah, I know. I didn't think he would be super magically, to be honest. To be honest. You didn't think what would be magic? I didn't think you'd have like a, a ton of magic damage. Because I knew you were going with archers, but... I have a little bit of magic damage. It's nothing yeah, too crazy. You, you, got, you got some. All right, so let's get the flank on this guy. Let's go down here. Gonna get bonked on the retreat. Nothing you can do about that. Ah, put the big, big work in there. Could do hold the line. I mean, fighting here isn't like terribly cost effective for this guy. I think going around the top. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Yeah, so let's move you under. Put you down here. Cool. Is there anything we can bonk safely? Not really. All right, so now we can cast that like so. It's going to hit all those guys. He bonked in the head. And the killing momentum will trigger, which is pretty good. Move in and get you. Get him with a little zap. Not bad. And the doggo should be able to finish the job. Nice. Got to try and collapse the old flank here. It ain't easy. Healing zap. Yeah, he's got a lot of ways to stop his guys from dying, which is uh, what hurts. Yeah, it's pretty strong. This guy cancel retaliation. He does. Should be able to just run away here. The big laser beams of doom. All right, so now back into the main combat here in the middle. Your boy is good. We got the knights. Could go do a little bit of damage here. Not a terrible flank. Pwn did get those nice, sweet, sweet stuns. Which have proven to be pretty good. Archer's there. Alright, so we could move up and then try and blast. I have to be very careful with all this, dude. Your, uh, your stuff's pretty scary. Alright, let's go provide some healing to you. And not feeling great at the moment. Yeah, we have some magic damage. You know, we're not like without magic. All right, and then what does this do? Sorry, I'm having to read this ability. I don't even know what this does. Uh, slight chance of okay, an injured unit. Interesting. All right, so for you, I guess we just start zapping here. Oh, the big 23 damage, dude. You better watch out. It's gonna give it to you. You ain't got to tell me twice. Yeah. All right, let's get in there. Damn, that was some big damage. Wow. Healing sap. Survive. All right. Oh, this game is so fun. It's it's this game is a blast. I like honestly though, I wouldn't probably play it if I didn't have friends, some folks to play PvP with. Though the PvP is fun. Bilbo summoned a Barrow White, so they stumbled upon the Barrow White, and it kind of decided to work with them. So Bilbo's back here being smug. We definitely have a a nice mass of scary things. So it looks like he used to heal on the Fury. Here comes the Skjald of Doom. <laughs> that little halfling just all brave resisting the insanity. Oh! We killed something. You did. The game is winnable. <laughs> He's back online, baby. Pwn didn't hear no bell. They said it couldn't be done. Dude, look at the proud halfling folk, dude. Yeah. Oh no, Smog is... 
Going for the kill on the boys. So the dragons are pretty cool additions, man. They're really fun. Ah, oh, the, the miss, huh? Miss for the miss gods. Miss for the miss throne. Damn, look at that. That's serious. Wow. All right, then. Maybe we consider that. Hmm. Berserkers are definitely a bit of a pain. It's probably your most annoying unit you have, honestly. The old Berserkers. They're, they're, uh, they're a solid unit. They are trying to Zerk. Oh, he just bonked my knights. When is the Battletoad going to get crazy, dude? Units trading right there. This is Golem in the middle battling my dude. When is Age of Wonders going to be the new AOE FFA? Oh, so probably never. It's very different. Yeah, It's very different. Dragon chilling up there. Archer's running away. Smart. Don't want to give up any kills if you don't have to. What does this guy have? He does have a heal. He's got a full-on heal. So summons only last a couple turns now. So like I have the Storm Spirit and these Corrupted Souls, which um, should be unbinding soon. Combat summon, yeah. So you can see they disappear after a few turns, which I think is a great change. It was really obnoxious how how good the summoning was. It was just it was so much more powerful than a lot of other things. Pwn going to bonk my poor Glade Runners. I'm just running them to the edge of the map. Okay, Golem is there. Smog just roaring, being a big fat dragon as usual. Damn, dude. This guy's got the, the beatdown going. Bilbo's going to have to do something about this. 66% chance doesn't feel that great. Although, yeah, I guess if uh, the Berserker gets turned into a shitty tier 1 unit, that's pretty good. Uh oh, I see the I see what that toad wants, dude. Oh god, the fear of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, does that toad have any like berserker belt or anything? No. Okay, so he can be killed. Nah. Nothing super awesome like that. Yeah, still scary though. Oh god, giving me stress every time with the old uh, Bilbo. I think he can just run away now. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's do the easy place first. All right, so you are going to just finish the job here. Let's do a little mending touch here. Sure, why not? Can we bonk him on the head? We can. So let's firstly heal you. And uh, just do the easy kill. Very good. Let's get you over there for the stand together. Stand together right now. All right, so what do we want to get here? Yeah, I like that flank idea. That feels pretty good. Get these guys cleared out. Nice. Big hit right there. Can't quite get the kill on them, but these guys can. Finish them. So we pop this over here, which is going to be hilarious. Hold the line. So your favorite. How much combat spells you got left? Oh, bro. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Smog. Smog just got done dirty so hard. Oh, man. No bueno. Yeah, that's a pretty rough one for the old boy Smog there. Flee. And, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to eat that Berserker shot, my friend. All right, so we got a little lightning. Thunderbolts and Lightning, sort of frightening. Let's go ahead and pop that up there. You got this accursed character just in my backfield. I'm pretty sure I can just run because you're facing the wrong direction. Yeah, perfect. Oh shit, but the Berserker is going to get me next. God damn. <laughs> I didn't see him down there. I lost track. Oh god. Bilbo, hold on. Brother, I am pinned. 
Knights, uh, we can start clearing out the knight, I suppose. What kind of mana does that take? It takes a bit. A little bit of healing. Fat damage. Say what? You said your spear wolf did fat damage. Yeah, it did. It, it that thing hits hard. All right, so your smog. Ten percent chance to shoot. Could try and trigger the berserk on this guy instead, which might not be a terrible idea. Defender into berserker. Those are mostly range units. Those defenders don't mess around. Not bad for a tier 2 unit. Alright, so where can we go? This guy needs to just find a way to peace out here. Spider egg. Frost evocation. What are the chances to freeze? 60%, so it's not that good. Hello. Say what? You're good. Gotta get the Berserk off on that guy, so we just attack some random shit, you know? <laughs> oh, the bonk! Okay, didn't hit that hard. Okay, we got the Steadfast, and he should be Berserking now, so I'm hoping that he'll just go after the wrong target. And uh, we can get you to come down here, do some battle with Homeboy. Getting pretty hard. Skulls, let's do a little AoE buffs. Pull you back. Can we do anything fun? Not really. I guess we just shoot the toad. He's got a 10% chance to be hit in the bushes there. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. I think it's going pretty good. Yeah, with smog being down, that's definitely rough. You're not without tricks and schemes, though, I'm sure. Oh, did I forget to cast a spell that turn? No, you used steadfast. Did I? Yeah, okay, good. I wanted to make sure I don't lose that guy over there. I can't kill your wolf, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Smog just took the business pretty hard, which... Pwn has a, a morale buff army, too, or else he would be routing now. He's got the Tomb of Revelry also, so... The Skelds are, like, buffing leadership, and... He probably has Reveler's Heart. It keeps all his crew in the fight longer. Bilbo Baggins just looking smug in the corner. Alright, what's it gonna be? True to the cycles are pretty cool. I haven't really had a chance to use their abilities. Pretty freaky looking, geez. Did you fumble some of those? No, you didn't. Okay. Some buffs coming down. We'll just pretend this is Samwise Gamgee. He's learned to be a wizard. Yeah, you got a little bit of steadfast of your own this game, huh? The Berserkers. Oh, good thing you missed that. <laughs> just hunting those archers to the edge of the map. Oh yay. It's pretty scary, that guy getting so low over there. I hate to have to use the magic on him. Keep him alive, but... Let's see, so we got heal. Uh, that's our Glade Runner. Pwn retreating to the north. Nice, consolidating his forces. It's gonna get a little bit better for him in a minute, because several of my units are gonna um, disappear in my summons. So he'll get a, a slight reprieve from, uh, from, the, from the treachery. There it is. All right, so we still have the big the big man for one more turn, which is nice. So we can bring you down here. Do we have the healing banner? We do not. This berserker is basically on death's bed, so let's just zap that thing into the shadow realm. Don't think it's going to be coming back anytime soon. And it's back. <laughs> is it? Did I miss it? No. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> like Palpatine. Somehow it has returned. All right, so what buffs do we have for the crew here? Let's get you in the middle. You so go. I wanted... Smog had this ability to uh, 
kill something for like 40 points, or it could like revive something with 50% of its health. So I was like, yes, when he finally kills a berserker, I'll revive it. <laughs> and then Smog died. Yeah, that was that was that was a tough turn of events. He got bonked pretty good. All right, 75% chance to just kill this thing. Let's see if it works. Yeah, and it looks like it surpasses the berserk trait too. The uh, the. The little buff there, which is nice. How could this happen to me? <laughs> yeah. I've made my mistakes. <laughs> yeah, the Berserker just getting munched on. Oh man, alright. Uh-huh. And uh, how can we save Bilbo from the axe of, the axe murderer over there? <laughs> you know? Have everybody about face and murder. I, I, I don't have enough over there. It's kind of like off in the Shadow Realm a little bit. I think I have some fat heals. He can just kind of keep waddling. and Oh, we can't heal other... You can only heal other things. Shit. Uh, Bilbo. Okay, what do I have? I want that? my consolation prize. Go forth, Caustic Worm. No, Kill, him. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! You want your, yeah, you want the, the, the freebie there, huh? Okay, let's bolster their defenses a little bit, see if we can keep them going. I don't think I can run around your guy. I know, that's why I was like hoping it would be enough with the body block there. Well, when he smacked, I, I think it, uh, I think it has like an ability that makes it so I don't move as much. Hmm. So it gets you good, huh? I think. Get the shank. The razzle dazzle, get the charge. Wow, we didn't kill that thing. Seriously. Let's get a little heal on you. Story of my life. Yeah. Seems so. Yeah. Right, that fast. Yeah, that's a really nice thing that the holy culture has. It like, or that I the feudal. Light. <laughs> it makes like all those melee characters more viable because otherwise they just get like friggin' owned, you know, most of the time. Damn, why does this Spirit Wolf hit so hard, dude? This thing's jacked. It hits so much harder than my hero. Got times two strength. Yeah, I guess. It's heal hero ain't got times two strength. He can't heal himself, unfortunately. Hey. Alright, let's head up there. No, we have the Glade Runner. We're still somehow alive. Uh, any targets we want to take over here? Target it. Yeah, the Glade Runners are cool. They're definitely a nice utility because even if they don't do damage, they still uh, a lot of damage. They do, but they uh, that debuff is pretty uh, pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Where's that Glade Runner in the bushes here? No, I can't even. No, no more can he get away there. I wasn't sure if I should push my luck, but... All right. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Not much. Yeah, without magic, it's going to be pretty tough at this point. The good boy can't be stopped. Yeah, no kidding. He's pretty serious. Bilbo! No! Oh, no! The pwn just is the hunter of Bilbo, dude. Yeah, that uh, the, the Toad guy's leadership is really low right now, too. <laughs> Dreaded steadfast. Always steadfast. Never not. I'm, yeah, it does eat up my full... S I have way better spells, but I don't want to lose him. You know, so I'm kind of like... Yeah. Stay here in Steadfast where it's safe. Yeah. Go forth, gremlins. Keep fighting. Okay, some laser beams being shot on my knight. Ah! I wonder if the insanity comes back when they uh, revive. Yeah, it looks like it does stay on them. This is insane. <laughs> that worm thing is just... Yeah, the caustic worms are pretty nasty, dude. They're good fighters. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's the crazy... I love caustic worms. Yeah, they're good. It's a, definitely one of the better animal summons you can get. Because it, wait, it's because it deals spirit damage? Uh, I mean... Yeah, that's true, too. It's not just physical damage. It, it is spirit damage. With the heals... No, uh, we have a this summon another beast of burden oh the war pig dude F 
Fear the hog. All right, so let's get you. A little bit of this. Um, and then you can gather here. Hmm. I guess I don't need to overthink too much. I'm just gonna wear this down. And then you are gonna do the banner healing. Heal him up a little bit. Let's do the old. Uh... Okay. The killing momentum, man. Killing momentum, so good. Just bouncing around, bonking things on the head. All right, so let's get you in there. Start bonking those transmuters. Those, uh, I don't know if transmuters, if it's one of their things, but they seem very tanky. What's that? The transmuter characters seem like they are like tankier than some of the other uh, equivalents. Yeah, I, I think they're quite good. Yeah, they always thought you had actually had me sweating bullets a little bit in the. I wish uh, I had uh, the yeah, first round. Yeah. The start. yeah, I wish I had better magic. Yeah, the magic felt lackluster, but that's always what happens when you go in or in uh, Materium. Materium. Your magic just sucks. Well, if I would have went, so like I chose the one that had transmuter, but if I would have chose the other one, I could have got those like big AOE damage spells or the yeah or the crush spell. Yeah, that would have been really good against me. I think. Just said anything other than. Uh, like, like all I have is like tier one magic from like the tomb of the tomb of the horde. Yeah, oh, it's over. You, you just want to end it, and I'll surrender. Yeah, sounds good. I'm just kill the last golem here. And that should do it. Uh, yes. My army's already flying. Yeah, I got it, brother. GGs. Oh, oh, GGs. Yeah, I think the solo leveling of smog is what set you back. You know, like having multiple strong uh, heroes. Maybe you think. I I mean that was before I. That was before, like, I had the option for another hero. Yeah, yeah. So I guess, oh, then it doesn't matter. That was just that was just to start the game. Yeah, that's fair play. I got him up to level six is when I quit solo. And did, did you feel like it. you kind of fell off with Barbarian a little bit later? Or was that not really a variable too much, like your your, your culture? I think it might have been better if, like, they're at the, the other part where, uh, you know, if I didn't just have, like, that tier one army, maybe, but... Yeah. I mean, I only had two heroes going to that fight, and you had three. Yeah, they were high level too. Level yeah. yeah. Whereas if if you had had maybe like the golem based army instead of the the, the tier one unit army, like when you had that first attack, it could have been pretty different, right? right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah. GG, sir. GG's man. Well fun. played. Well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back tomorrow with Total War. I'm gonna set up a tournament. And uh, we'll do like one of these a week or something, whenever phone's free and we feel like it, we'll, uh, we'll jam on and play some of this. But uh, yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. Thank you all for joining. And uh, GG's, Pwn. Going to close things yeah, down GGs. for now. Good, good night, everybody. Take care.